Indeed. Audio is fine. Thank you. Right. Hi. Hey. Um, welcome. We're going to be playing uh, Call of Cthulhu 7th edition. This is my box set. Um, it which, just arrived, didn't it? Uh, just arrived. Well, it arrived a week or two ago, but it, um, I've kept it in shrink wrap so that we can all un, um, box it together. So um, um, without further ado, I'm actually going to break. Well, hang on. While you're doing that, why don't we, why don't we, these are two, the two other things that That's came with it. That's the other ones that came with it. This is the um, handbook of, S. Peterson's handbook of Lovecrafty and Comma. Here we go. Oh, wow. Ripping plastic with my fingers because I'm so strong and failing. Okay. I was like beforehand, hey, Mary, tell yeah, me you get some scissors. scissors. And I, he's like, no, it's okay. I've got I, mar I marched over it and said, no, don't need scissors. Don't need none of that. And here I am failing. Oh, this is so beautiful. I wish oh. I could show you guys the book. Jeez, Ben. This is how you should so, open a Cthulhu game. Absolutely. You think, like, that is legit piece. how it should happen. Here we go. Oh, lovely. Look. Lovely. Mmm. Mm, plasticky. Plastic. <laughs> Goodness. So while, while he's doing that, Ooh. we should probably just mention don't post any links in the chat uh, because otherwise the Twitch bot will oh, all kick your ass. And uh, don't post capital letters in the Twitch bot. Don't shout because the, the Twitch bot doesn't like that either. Oh, there we are. Cool. We, right. we don't mind for the Twitch bot. There is the Keeper Rulebook, which John will be handling. There are some beautiful. There's the, the Investigator Handbook that we'll be using. Page 49, I think you said. Yeah, 49 is the key page. 49 is the key page for the, the, the really tricky... Um, we've already had a question about that there's been lots of changes. Um, no, it's not page 49 in our that is. book. No, no, it's not now, it's in yours. Yeah, yeah, 49, yeah. Yeah, sorry, I don't know where it is in the investigator handbook. But it'll be where in the, in the world, screen too. Where in the world are you, Tally Darkstar, that you've got tornado problems? <laughs> the tornado problems with the sound? <laughs> is that? I think no, that's what he was saying. No, 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 no actually. I think, I think he's actually uh, got tornado problems. Are you problems. playing in Oz, maybe? No, no, oh, tornado oh, season. Oh, 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 that's Kansas. Not in that, Kansas Doesn't anymore. it happen that they go to Oz, though? Yeah, well, Oz has, obviously has tornado problems as well. Yeah, true, true. because, Oz you know, they've got, way. you know, people coming with tornado problems all the time. Right. Solve my tornadoes. Click your red ruby slippers and just say <laughs> there's no place like home. I want you to think about the clear plastic as being more like some kind of flesh that you've been chewing I'm, 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 I'm a cannibal that's eaten some. And here... Just to make John feel it's gonna be sick. glorious. Oh, it's oh, there's maps and everything. Look at there's this keeper screen. Oh, dark. Oh, Open that thing up. And you, oh, ooh, it's a flat keeper screen. Oh, I like it. Shorter. Ooh, it's a low nice. keeper screen. Oh, that's oh, so nice. Oh, look at the artwork. Oh, the, can we just show that artwork? Mm. Can you hold that there? I don't know if you can see that, but it looks pretty. Amazing. Yeah, Kansas. John, you're close. Greetings, greetings, Oz. Yep. <laughs> I love that Oz is not Kansas, but that's okay. Oh, oh, you even got, oh, I even got. <gasps> oh, oh, whoa. No, no, no. no. Oh, I, got, I, got, I got the character sheet. Character sheets. Oh, pretty. Oh, we could have used those we if, could we have if we'd only unboxed it earlier. Unbox earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of unboxing it on camera, but that was glorious. I know. That's a lot of gold. That is a lot of Kickstarter oh, gold. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of gold. Oh, Kickstarter gold. I thought you were talking about treasure as in Kickstarter treasure. No, I, I actually think this was really good, yeah. Okay. Oh, weird. That system isn't on there. I really would have thought they'd put it What was it, it called? What's it called on your page? 47. Thunderstorms tomorrow. Hi, Jim from Chicago. I assume you're in Chicago. Oh. Um, <laughs> Through deductive reasoning, it's we no have to Because, because I are. have an education of 75. <laughs> I also think that your name is Jim. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're Chick from Jimago. Oh. <laughs> Murray, Murray loves the chat. Oh, by the way, guys. <laughs> we should not have given him the chat. No, you shouldn't no, have given me the no, chat. No, um, Just so, okay. just a quick, if there's any delay, just let me know and I can adjust on the fly. We're just trying to set it up and cool. this is a new internet, so we needed to make sure it was working. You want me to adjust my fly? Yeah. Yeah. On the fly. Yeah. Sorry, on the fly. Oh, on the fly. Adjust yeah, on your fly. So if your hands go down below the table, we will know. You're, <laughs> no. you're adjusting, you're adjusting the on the fly. Hands on the table, oh, feet no. on the floor. Period names. No, no. Where's this? this um, so, what are you looking for? That sheet. Your page forty nine in my book. It's we have a question. Reference. We have a question from uh, Drip Two. Uh, are you doing a, a pre made adventure or a published adventure? Or no, I'm not. Adventure? I did consider playing the adventure out of the back of the book, but I decided that it's way more fun bringing Murray's character back from the dead. Spoiler. <laughs> um. So in the last um, Call of Cthulhu game, um, Percival Spofford, my my investigator, um, took some uh, spirits of. Sayaga. Sayaga into himself and then drank poison before they could take control. So he um, died inside a tomb and killed them with him. But he's oh, still we here found the tool. Stuff. Yeah, you right. had a green emerald. Yeah, um, green emerald. We got out of there. Yeah, but to so in fact, that's a tautology thing. Green emerald. 
Yes. Well, tautology. So. Whoa, man. Come on. A tautology. Let's so, not let's not get into any shibboleths. Let's oh. oh. I, I do. Me too. Oh, it's way too early for this. Percival coming and back. I'm not drunk enough. I hope so. I hope so. And I hope with your help, he can come back better than he was before. So I will be asking chat for um, descriptions, any ideas that you guys have. You just keep throwing them out there. And if I can incorporate them into the game, I definitely will. So if you've got ideas for mood, if you've got ideas for character personalities, um, if there's a creature that I, I can describe, 59. I'd love to hear what you want to add to it. It's so 59, 59 for you. Yeah. It's so weird that it's not on this because it's one of the most important Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say that I read the rules for this last night, so if I'm wrong with any rules, I apologise, but I couldn't get the PDF fast enough, and obviously we just unboxed this, so there was no way for me to use it. So, Sick dad jokes, absolutely, Ziggy. Uh, <laughs> we need to, Murray, Murray, all Murray is going to do is read from now on. I hope I'm not missing two eyes. That would be that would be disastrous. Those dad jokes are sick. They are fully oh. sick dad jokes. Oh. This will just be us watching and reading through books. Yeah. It's going to be like, <laughs> like, like, like Derek's got his head down, just looking through. Uh, we're we're, we're, we're going to We've got some riveting television of people geeking out on new RPG. But come to my garage because you can pretty much spend a year there geeking out on RPG more than stuff. That, you more haven't seen my oh, hey garage recently, have you? Has no, anybody, yeah, it's kind of gone a bit more. serious. Have, has anybody seen um, Murray's loot before? If you have, just say hi in the comments and just let us know if you want more of them. Yeah, more yeah. Murray's more loot. Murray's loot. Murray has more loot because it's been more than a year since Murray filmed the Murray's loot. So there's at least a year's worth of loot. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Murray has more loot. <laughs> Who would have thought? Hashtag. Right. Think of everything you've seen in the Murray loot videos. It's double. Kind of double. Yeah, double, yeah. double, okay. double. Okay. Shall we jump into it? What do you reckon? Yes. Sure. Okay, cool. All right, so we so want to do a clean break for YouTube. So we're oh, going to go. Oh, clean break for YouTube. Three, two. Three. Do we clap? We, it's tradition. We have to. Ready? Three. For sinking. Sinking purposes. Three, two, one. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That was perfect. More I loot get from more Angus Pearl. Uh, thank you, <laughs> Angus. Uh, more loot from Denny. Thank you. Yeah, more Lady Telly Darkstar. Yeah, I've got loot fans. Murray's loot fans. It's like I'm a pirate. Arr. Um, there is actually a giant X <laughs> on top of the show. No, there was a comment from Ben recently on YouTube going, "The best games are where Nathan and Murray get together because the ch the chat is non-stop." Yeah, um, <laughs> and, Murray's, talk, and Murray's actually on the chat, so it's oh, it's so nice. So 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 but by so the way, mad. um, if you want to Google my address in the world, um, I'm not going to tell you my address, but there is a giant X on top of my garage now, so X does mark the spot of Murray's loot. <laughs> We should we should make a Google, a, Google Earth. Can it, we baby. make a treasure map? Oh, you can make a treasure map. I was thinking of doing a, like a giant um, Google Earth orienteering course where oh, you give people so longitude great. and latitude, and they have to spell out words based on the longitude and latitude. Right. Like you do the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, and you have to do it on Google Earth. Right. Right. Okay. And what, then leave them what, on what the map. What would be the most valuable thing in your in your? And your what's the combination oh, yeah. on? The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, old school me. Old school me. I've got. Blocks of wood locking the door. Um, uh, oh, this <laughs> and, uh, and in case you were, case yeah. you were worried there's, about I mean, security there's, systems, there's, there's some block of wood. There's some, <laughs> yeah, we don't actually there's have some, any. There's some stuff that Gary Gygax owned that I, mm. I won on a couple You've of... You've got a um, box. Options. A cardboard a box. A cardboard box yeah. addressed to Gary yeah. Gygax. That's it has right. stuff in it. It's a cardboard box. <laughs> and, uh, but I've got, I've got, it contains I've got, Gary, Gary Gygax's I've got his breath. Copy, I've, yeah. got his, I've got his copy of Dungeon, the board game Dungeon, his copy of a couple of other board games and about eight modules that were Gary Gygax's copies of those. Um, I've got uh, quite a lot of um, old school epics and um, matchbox miniature soldiers, toy soldiers, but lots and mm. lots and lots of stuff. More, more quantity really over over um, stuff. But you have you have got some real like rare stuff. Though. Oh yeah, there's some really quite old and rare stuff in there. But um, like you've got first edition, you've got the white box from. Yeah, I've got two white boxes from D and D. So that's like yeah, two, before red two, box. Two white box what, um, with all the with all the supplements. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, shall we jump into it? John, um, can before, you briefly tell you us do. about the rules differences between 7th and previous editions? Yeah, before we start. So, preface, I, I've mostly played 5th edition, so 6th edition I haven't played. So my, my knowledge would be from 5 to 7. Um, I actually personally, from my uh, three or four hours of reading the rules and trying to cram in my brain um, as much as I could, 
uh, th they've been some really good changes. So they've added difficulty levels into the percentage skill-based systems and attributes. So rather than always winning. <laughs> right, well, yeah, rather than um, you automatically succeed if you roll and if you've got a 99 for a skill, then it's there's no challenge at all in it. Whereas now we have, in the quick record, we've got halves and fifth values, so we can add something and make it harder or more extreme roles. So if so, you're trying to blindfold shoot a gun while leaping off a building at a moving target, that would be an extremely difficult thing to do, and therefore it would be a much harder role. So before you jump off a building, you just shoot and everything's fine. So our, our first bit of feedback, having just opened the box set, is that the quick reference chart for hearts and fifth values for difficult and extremely difficult aren't in the keeper screen. Not that I can see, unless it's somewhere, but it's a pretty big table. So look at the keeper screen. Yeah, it's, screen. yeah you don't. <laughs> <laughs> wrong screen. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. The other bit is that they've uh, they've refined the combat system and made it uh, much more interesting. So mm. it's it's got a bit more to it now. Whereas where you can throw a punch and someone can counter punch and actually do damage to you in your own turn, uh, or you can, instead of just dodging. Right. So there's a, a few more interesting things in there using the half and fifth values in that system. So it's cool. a, it's a fun system. I, I actually quite like it. If you yeah. if you win on a so a, a a fifth would be a really hard roll? Or? Be extremely hard. That would be like, uh, yeah, guessing the combination code on a safe yeah. without any knowledge. If of you it. succeed on a fifth roll, do you get more value to that? Or is it just no, no, a no. success as uh, a success? Yeah, as in, I don't think you get any on a standard roll. So, for instance, if you're under no pressure or anything like that and you do an extreme roll, I don't think it'll give you anything different. You just succeed. Okay. It just makes it so that it's a difficult roll to do. So it's not telling you you've done better. It's just saying you, you've succeeded at something right. very difficult. Right. What it, what you do have are new difficulty dice that you can add in. So you can now add an extra d10 to either add that becomes pick the highest or pick the lowest d10. Right. So now you can oh, see roll three d10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, a question: Is the resistance it. table still there? There or is, is that mechanism changed? It's changed. It's, I think it's now part of the uh this new quick Hards reference and the Hards right. and, and fist system. So. The, yeah, you're not rolling on a chart like that anymore, which is sad. I really like that chart. So sorry, let, let, let's just say if I'm if I'm wanting to shoot a stationary target, like um, Tommy the Tug. What, what do I roll? <laughs> you would roll your standard handgun skill if you're shooting a handgun. Yep. So a sixty percent. You'd I have would, a sixty percent chance, and, and if the person roll... was tied to a post, then you would just roll that, and I would give you the difficulty. If it was a, a standard range, you'd just be rolling a standard, a standard roll. And I rolled D100. You'd roll a D100. If the thing, if it was at at a longer range, you would mm. make it a hard roll. If it was mm. an extreme range for that weapon, it'd be an extremely difficult roll. And a a hard roll. Uh, how do I calculate that? Well, uh, let me pull out my chart so because you guys Ooh. have got yours in front of you, so I'll just. I'm not Page forty nine. I've got actually got a bookmark in it now. Oh. Yeah, it comes with a bookmark. Oh. Th so like, did it come with the bookmark in page forty nine? No, that would oh, be. Oh, that would have been like whoa. Uh, what, what's your skill for it? Sixty. 60, so we'd look at 60, and it would be at, at say, uh, long range, it would be 30% chance, uh -huh. so half of that, obviously, and then 12, which is a fifth. So you have to roll under 12. So where's the 12? Under 12. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. so roll 60, 12. 30, 12. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, and then you add in things like if they're dodging, then they are making an opposed roll. So uh, if you rolled um, a twelve on that, then they would have to roll an extremely uh, an extreme roll themselves in order uh, to be able to dodge you. Right. Okay. And if you both do if you both fail, you both fail. Right. Extreme so. dodging. Um. So the question. Uh, so it's like a mixture of fifth edition and Numenera. Hmm. We haven't played, we haven't played it yet. We're about to play it now. I so we, it feels we will... more like. Uh, Fifth edition and Dungeons and Dragons advantage disadvantage dice. Mm. Kind of, yeah, yeah kind of. feels, it feels a bit like that. So, mm. so if I had an extra, I know what you mean though with the with the, the fact that it's I'm on the chat. with the difficulty challenge levels. I see what you mean. Um, how do I uh, how do I add an extra d10? You said I had enough. So to... it becomes the the ten of the ten and the ones, and so you'd add an extra dice in, and so you just find another t10, so you'd add three, and then. For instance, if the person was unconscious and you had a rocket, right, which is really hard to miss or something like that, right, then you I would, would be surprised. Then you'd have your sixty percent chance to hit, yep. and then I'd give you the advantage that you've been aiming for the last hour at this person. Yeah. Then that <laughs> dice becomes like... the pick the highest of the two d tens that are the tens. 
But so, I want I want a low roll, right? I want to roll under. under so pick the lowest, I apologize. Yeah, 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 pick the lowest of the two. Okay. Sorry, yeah. my brain hurts with lows and highs. Yeah. Right. You want the most advantageous okay. dice. All right, let's, let's start and we'll work it as we go. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. We're going to start at a funeral. At a very sad funeral. I'm terrible at funeral's. <laughs> I just cried every single time. Funerals and weddings. <laughs> wow, I'm this wearing... is a wedding at no, it's, it's just a funeral. I'm wearing a black suit. You're wearing a black suit. We have Paulo's with you, is he? He is always. He's with you. And a pinstripe grey suit. Pinstripe grey suit. Is it a morning suit? No. And he's he's not eating a sausage currently? No. Okay. Is it raining? If, yeah. Oh, Polo's holding my umbrella. Oh, yes. Oh, no, nice, yeah. nice, And nice. he's been holding it for the last hour. Yeah. And his hand hasn't started shaking yet. No. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. I hold this. It is good. I hold mm-hmm. forever. <laughs> so, yeah, you're wearing your pinstripe black suit. You, maybe you've got a few other people around you that um, are your lackeys. Morning. Your consigliere. And... Yeah. And we're um, very sad at this funeral. I bet you oh. are, yeah. Well, somebody. Yeah. Maybe Murray's character, actually. Percy, oh. Percy Spoffers. <laughs> Um, you are also Chuck. Are we, have, you've been on Chuck camera Goldman. before as yeah. a character? Yeah, oh, Chuck well, I don't know if that's gone live. That okay, so do you want to give a quick overview? Because I think these guys know Tommy and they know Percy. Do you want to... So Chuck, um, well, actually, yeah, Wood, Chuck was the... Woodchuck? No, the uh, t- t- Titanic episode. Yeah, I don't think that's... Oh, oh no, it has yeah? gone up, I believe. So um, I don't have internet right this moment. So Chuck was in the uh, in the army, uh, fought for the Brits in World War. Nineteen seventy, we were in the um, in the United States uh, Army that went across and, and fought and fought in the trenches mm-hmm. and um, and came back home and found that you know there wasn't a lot of uh, work for veterans and set up his own private investigation firm. And uh, through my friend here, knew Tommy the Tongue, mm. and um, yes, and I'm I'm very uh, misty eyed at the funeral of my friend who I went through so much mm. pain and suffering in and and mustard gas in the first world war. Wow. Okay, so Steve. So you would know you know him really well and uh you guys have all hung out together. I I, I probably should I, we've kind of hung out in a very professional relationship. Um you know So you, you've had a few jobs for him and yeah, a few favours of asked. He's 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 done you know he's done a bit of work, what can I say? You know Is that your voice? It's Tommy. It sounds more like an Italian. No, I'm not sure. Tommy, 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 Tommy the Tommy. Yeah, that, there we go. There yeah. It is. We we know each other. You know, we have we're businessmen. We don't know each other. <laughs> we know each other. So you've had some experience with uh, Cthulhu mythos type situations with the Titanic, right? Being on the Titanic. Yeah. We were literally on the we Titanic. Were we were the literally Titanic. on the Titanic. It was wanting to come into port. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, Cthulhu, and... winning when you're on a boat. <laughs> so to recap, Percy, uh, you've explained a little bit about yep. it. So essentially, the we had Nathan, Johnny's character, and your mm-hmm. character were investigating the Museum of Antiquities, I believe. Yes. And Miskatonic. the Miskatonic Museum, yep. and they discovered and that the Thirst of Siaga, which is sort of the echoes of Siaga coming forward, looking for a means with which to enter into the world uh, by consuming life force, essentially, was hindered by you guys, mm. and you managed to break uh, a an artifact of, a, I believe it was a, a statue of an eye, mm. or a symbol mm. of an eye, mm. which was able to be worn around the necklace. Yep as a necklace, and you broke into the room and intended to be able to destroy these Thirst of Sega, which were a force that once they absorbed the life force of somebody, they came into the material world for a brief period before they moved on. So they were able to be affected once they took on that life force for that moment. Sort of like, I guess, psychic vampires yep. in that sense. Not the, not the glittery kind. <laughs> they come out, they're just like... And not so much the blade kind either, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's somewhere in there. Anyway, uh, Murray, your character uh, realized that the only way that he thought, because yeah. it's insane. Well, there was the amulet. Yeah, he had the amulet, which, which he needed to break yeah. inside uh, the. I needed, to, I needed to not be wearing the amulet. Yeah. So I, I uh, broke the seals, took the amulet off, drank the poison, and then smashed the amulet so that they came at me. And, and they absorbed your essence and died. So uh, these guys came into the, the tomb after that and they found a broken amulet with what looks like some kind of emerald remains. A green them. emerald. A green emerald. <laughs> a tautology. With the, and it and looked like emerald. there was something swirling inside, if I yeah. remember. We were looking through it and, oh, it, wow. and it kind of like was moving inside the 
Yeah, for a moment. That's right. Can we see what it was? I mean, was it inside the emeralds? Was there a thing, or was it a light, it, or just a play? Of... It it feels it feels disturbing to look into it. Oh. You don't you don't want to look into this thing, mostly because a lot of the mythos is unnatural. It it, it is like staring into truth for you. And uh, H.P. Lovecraft talks about this idea of you can have truth or you can have sanity, but you can't have both. Wow. And so the more truth you learn, the less sanity you have. And you fill, you fill up the truth and the sanity falls out <laughs> of the side. And so that, that's a really, actually they say that in the seventh edition is a really a good way to look at it. Right. Yeah. So for you guys, you, you want to know what's around, but also it's incredibly disturbing. So this thing inside feels like a, a touch of that Syaga, that idea of this this manifestation of an abomination that lives between the spaces of time. And it's, it's got that kind of feel about it, yeah. but there is an element of familiarity to it too, in it all mm. in that this was Percy's, you know, uh, his, his ultimate sacrifice essentially. And we would have a gone, symbol of that. I would have got, cause I had that, I would have gone and like taken it to experts like, Within the Cthulhu mythos, like some you know professors and doctors, yeah, like Nigel or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. you guys well, don't actually know a lot of people. Nigel's probably one of the few people you know. I think you know Tommy, not Tommy. Um, Freddie Lambert was another one. I think he mm-hmm. came around for a little bit. Yeah, so he's around as well. Uh, but you're at the funeral, and I am. there is only an urn really left because it was a white powder. But it was a large one because he was <laughs> he was a large man. It, it, look, he, he was a large personality. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> My urn's full of personality, not, not It's it's one of the ones the extra large, you know, has a bit of a oh. yeah. And you you're uh, essentially you're burying it in, in a in a cemetery in the sense of a body. There's a, a traditional feel there was a request that you wanted it to be buried and you've got a plot of land yep. that is set aside that's in the generations. We all chipped into yeah. the tombstone. And yeah. I think, and I believe he wanted uh putting on the Ritz to be played while we were lowering him into the ground. <laughs> So you got a whole like what yeah. twelve piece band or something? Yeah, yeah. Of, yeah, um, just a, just an oboe. Just That's an all oboe. we could <laughs> <laughs> It's an oboe and a like, an oboe and an oboe <laughs> playing pipes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so there, there's a, a, a priest, a priest around yeah. um, Catholic, or? Catholic priest around. Oh, probably Presbyterian. Presbyterian. Mm. Uh, giving you know saying saying his thing as as they're placing this urn into the ground. And uh, you guys have a chance to be able to speak, which I imagine that you you say a little bit if you want to yeah. while you're there. You have, there's a few family members uh, around. Oh. I would imagine is that right, or did you is your you yeah? No, one? I was I was I was alone by the end. So pretty much yeah. there's there's a few that are here. My family are my friends. So there's maybe just you two and a few other uh, good friends that are around so. the place, like the guy from the museum. And yeah. So there's, Ben's there's, character. There's, 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 well, there's there's two people who are absent. From my funeral, but they are absent from your funeral. <laughs> is Ben's character there, but really drunk? He actually is so drunk he missed it. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna that is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen, but Ben's Ben's character will pay. And Johnny's yeah. character, I'm sure, is overseas at the moment, yeah, currently yeah, yeah. researching some of this idea of the emerald with a few mm. people that he knows, and didn't and the funeral didn't get to him the information, so he isn't able to attend. So. You're there. The, the priest is there, speaking, um, speaking his sermon. Mm. That there, and you, uh, Tommy, he's got the emerald yeah, around I'm, his neck. Yeah. So um, I've got the emerald in my um, my breast pocket, and I bring it out, and um, and uh, I go up to do the obviously to speak on his behalf at the front, and I put the emerald on the the lectern area that was set up. It was it's it's very nicely done, you know, big wreath of flowers and all that kind of stuff. Saying, mm-hmm. We'll miss you. You know, I bought it. It was second. You know, somebody yeah, else was there yeah, together, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was just the one that was there. So, I miss you, know, you, Donald. Yeah, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, crossed out. Yeah. <laughs> Percy. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, will you marry me, flowers? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. You know, it was on sale. What can yeah, I say? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, I stand there and go, you know, P.S. He was an old man. Didn't have long in the world, but you know, it's holding him. <laughs> Paul is behind me, just holding his umbrella. Yeah. And he said, you know, he didn't have long on the well, but, you know, he was good for a drink and, you know, saving the world and all that jazz. But, you know, nobody knows much about that. <sighs> a little sad to see him go, you know. You feel your feet slowly start to sink into the ground. Yep. Just, to, just about like an inch. Down so like mud. Like it's like yeah. mud. And a shadow falls across the sun. For, them, for a moment, and everything seems to go dark, 
and then it, it uh, the sun comes back. It takes about maybe three seconds. The sun just fades out and then appears again, and your feet uh, and you feel it too, Derek. Your feet sink down just uh, about an inch into the grass. So so as I was saying, PSC was a um, was a he the was... grave next to you. Um, he, uh, a like a blackish oilish liquid starts to seep up from the ground around it, and you liquid see a headstone <laughs> drop down into the earth. Oh, are we talking fast or slowly sinks into okay. the earth? So you be... feel your feet drop another inch. Hi, Ben. Hi, uh, okay. Oh, Ben's here. Hey, Ben. <laughs> we miss you. I uh, I kind of kick the the mud off my shoes and and, and shuffle around. You notice to that a... there's an oily film on your shoes. Oh. I, I keep talking because, you know, can't let a stage, an audience wait. And I go, you know, Percy, oh, and then I look at the stone. Is the stone doing anything? Uh, the stone, yeah, it is starting to, there's a light starting to shine from it. Uh, the the place where the urn is, it, it's starting to fill up with a black liquid. So the I, hole uh, in the ground where the, where the urn is, it starts to fill up. Can I go over to his bodyguard? Yeah. Polo? Polo. Polo. He's, he's standing there. Looks down and just can maintain the other. <laughs> <laughs> no, no visible shape. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is my job. Um, I say, I think, uh, I think we all better get out of here. What, what, what is this? And I look at the, the beefy breeze. head dropped in. So we must go. <laughs> this place it is not safe. Okay, get the urn. The urn's under the liquid. It's like it's filled up the hole with oh. this black liquid. The lectern that you place the, the, next, the necklace on is starting to tilt because the ground is soft. It starts to tilt towards the hole. I just grab the necklace. Yeah, you grab the necklace and you pick it up. Um, the, whole, the, the whole area, then we're talking about 20 metre diameter, just starts to sink. Okay, so I'm, I'm legging it away from the hole. Yeah, you can easily get handle? away from the hole. Yeah. Like, it's only 20 metres, so, and it's sinking slowly. Is, does the, did the urn have handles on the top? Yeah, it did. I grab the umbrella... And throw the hook down. Okay, I'll get you to make a dexterity roll. This is a difficult thing, so we're going to make it hard. So it's half. Okay. So half. what's your what's your value? Uh, dex is seventy five. So you need to roll a thirty seven. Under thirty seven. Under thirty seven. Fifty three. Okay. Mm. So. You, you just now I'm gonna you make one luck roll because this is a tricky thing that you're mm. that you're doing. Mm, where's my luck? Luck, luck, luck now luck. there. Okay, cool. So my luck, and that's to roll. This is not this is not a hard one. This is just a normal roll, standard luck. Yeah. Oh, zero zero. Zero zero. So hundred. Yeah. No zero zero eight. Mm. Zero zero. Oh, eight. Yeah, oh cool. sorry. <laughs> like zero zero hundred. Suddenly becomes the opposite. Of, okay, cool. So eight. Yep, that's great. Okay, so you, you manage to hold on to the necklace even as you're. As you're oh, no. <laughs> and you you pull back. Uh, Paulo's just picks you up basically and is just pulling you away now. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm yanking on Paulo. And, yep. and, and trying the to priest, get everybody. Out. The priest. The uh, priest. You see him trip as he's oh, and he God. falls in on his knees and then just sinks in a matter of seconds just into the ground. The whole area just you see a tree on the side just Are there any slowly other people sinking around? in. No, because you guys said you were you were the only ones and really. My, yeah. yeah. And my a few of my, you know. Yeah, look, maybe I'll say they're not there. Okay. Like it is yeah. just a small thing, yeah. you aren't really needed. Maybe your car has a driver. Oh no, Paul is your driver. So, oh, yeah, you don't driver. need a need a driver. Yeah. So a tree <laughs> just sinks into the ground and this pool of black oily liquid fills up into this area. And oh. it it's you are running essentially. Yeah. You get the, it gets to a point where twenty meters out, the ground stops sinking, and you feel it. You feel it solid again under your feet mm -hmm. again, and you you can turn if you want to and look, or I don't know what you want to do from here. Um, I'm gonna turn and look and just see what the hell is happening and see. see if... You don't have the 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 urn. No, right? you don't have the urn. No, you right. tried for it and missed. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so I we... tried. I tried. <laughs> he did nothing. Killed me twice, man. <laughs> yeah, look. The priest doesn't this doesn't rise America up from the the priest doesn't rise to the surface. He he's gone completely from there and it, nothing nothing remains in this pool of black liquid. I hold the necklace up. Yeah, there is a, a light a light on you're not gonna do the 
Dra- yeah. What's it called? Drowsing? No, dowsing. Dowsing me. Dowsing, yeah. Uh, Plumber's ball. So you, you, stand, you stand there looking at this hole of, of this... this it's hard to tell the difference of the distance of the depth of it because of mm. the oily liquid the sun shines off it this rainbow effect on mm. it and then you see a body float to the surface the the back of the, the body just on, on their back just floats to the surface and sort of it sits in the middle and, and floats in the middle um i get i go along look around is there a branch or something we can kind of like pull the body over yeah, let's say there's a branch over there. Yeah, you start whacking out, trying to yeah. grab the thing. Or like rope, rope. or rope in the car. There'd be rope in the car. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, say there's a rope. rope. Yeah, tow yeah. Rope. There's a tow rope in the car. All right, so you're gonna make a a, lo- a, a lasso and try and lasso. So the where's body. my what's my lasso skill? I like that you just use lasso and, and lasso. Lasso both at the same time. Lasso. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm a French cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> the best can. The best. Nothing can beat the French. That would be a biff, biff boy. A biff, what's the boy? What's French for boy? Uh, <laughs> I love that you look at Jerry. What's French girl, for girl, boy? Yeah, yeah, girl, be, you would uh, know. Gasson, you. Gasson. It would be yes. a biff, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, you're gonna make a you're gonna lasso. I am. What would you like me to do? Someone's use? someone's surprised that Tommy doesn't think it's oil and that he struck it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. I'm you're rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, human oil. <laughs> the latest <laughs> craze. Yeah. Render down. Um, cool. So Ooh. I'll do a um a luck or well, I, it's a throw roll, I believe would be yeah, the, cool. Would be the roll. All right, throw. I also get you guys some extremity rolls because this is a very disturbing situation oh, bit, that has just happened. This is a bit freaky. It is a bit freaky. Now made it. How do I roll sanity under seven three? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> so that's a one d three sand loss. Welcome to the club. <laughs> so one sanity roll. One lost? sanity lost. You must have learned from me how many sanity rolls can make people make. <laughs> yeah, you, you were just like I actually, sanity, I sanity, actually did cross my mind that this could be an adventure which has a lot of sanity rolls in it. Hang on, where's throw? A vache garçon is French for cowboy. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Throw 25. Otherwise, mine would be a beef boy. Well, that sounds completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and the best beef boy in beef France. Boy. And the best yeah. beef boy in France. Beef boys have a completely different. 13. Thing. 13, sort of, yeah, you don't 20. have to make a roll, it's okay, you don't have to take your sand, so, you, oh, this is your throw, not your yeah, sand. Yeah, I've already, yeah, done, my, I've already sand. done my sand. Yeah, you loop it around a foot, it looks like. And, That's what gangsters do. Yeah, and you, you pull the body in. Yo, Polo, help me. And Polo's just hit. like, yes. <laughs> yeah, Polo, <laughs> and the body kind of ripples along the water, and when I say water, it's not really water, it's not really oil. It's it's some kind of fluid, viscous, viscous fluid, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it reaches the sides, and you pull up Percy. Oh, oh! The oil. what a shark! In in priest? No, no, he wasn't was a priest. Dripping? He is he is in the clothes that he had originally, and dripping dripping with goo. Dripping, <laughs> with, <laughs> dripping with, with goo. Nice. And you pull you pull it. Do I do I do I rise just on the um. Uh, with the lasso, or am I rising sort of up out of? So the you've bobbed to the right. to the top, and then uh, Nathan's thrown a scum floats of him. Sorry. Can can I can I feel for a pulse or some kind of just check him out to see? Yeah, he he is First actually day. when you pull him over to to the side and. One thing you notice is that there doesn't seem to be a shoreline to this. It just drops down. So you, right. pull, you pull him in, he bobs under the water where you think it would sort of be an angle, and you, you pull him up, but it looks like it just drops down. Mm-hmm. And you pull him over, and Murray's mouth is just moving. Mm-hmm. No, soundless. His, his mouth is just moving constantly. Oh, it's, like, it's like a dream state. <laughs> and his eyes, his eyes are alternately, alternately like flicking open with, the, with one yeah. missing. Well, no, your eyes. Oh, yeah, your oh, my eye, eyelids. Nice. Your eyelids nice. open, but one's gaping with like a pool of the black liquid still in it. Oh, good. This one. This yeah. The black liquid. So, Flashing it with every flick of his oh, eyelids. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, so, you know about. so from my... Um, so it looks like, it looks like REM sleep. Yeah, right. So from my uh, years growing up in on Long Island, um, you can I'm even gonna, map them out. I'm gonna. 
Look at him on his side and start whacking his back, his back to try and clear his, his lungs. Yeah, so, the black liquid just pours out of his mouth. Right, um, shall we? And uh, no, pours is a wrong word. Oozes mm. is probably a more okay. appropriate word. So it oozes out of spews, did you say? Spews. 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 Yeah. And I'm going to say, Percy, Percy, can you hear me, son? And um, you can hear him. Okay. And from wherever I am. Yeah. You, you can hear him and you hear the, the words. In fact, you hear everything from the splashing. Okay. Get him over, pull him onto the right, side, right. that kind of thing. Uh, you're the green emerald. Yep, the green <laughs> emerald. Green right. emerald. As opposed to the red emerald. Is pulsing. It's Ooh. pulsing. Yeah. And, and it's I'm pulsing about... in the same um, beat as his eyelids and his mouth seems to be moving. It right. seems to be kind of like... Ooh, nice. I put it close to him and what does it pulse for? It, it's a uh, no, no, it doesn't, but it's the glowing same, same, same. I just it's it's pulsing in terms of glowing, or yeah, or so the glowing, glowing right. pulses of the green light from mm-hmm. the emerald. Um, I go like this, I Not go the red light, <laughs> just in case anybody was wondering. Um, we should be able to find a picture of what a green emerald okay. looks like somewhere. Um, yeah, can somebody put a link of a green emerald? Um, so yeah, I go along and I say. Hey, Polo, put this on his neck. Oh, that's that? like a green emerald. Without yeah. even pausing, he, he takes it and he places it onto your neck. Okay. And you suddenly, all the, the, all the movements and everything stop. And you see the emerald just sink into his flesh. Oh, no. Yeah, so sink, sink into my chest? Sink into your chest. And then his, his, um, your eyes open, Murray. Okay. And one eye is completely green, like someone had tattooed a green ink into an eyeball. Mm-hmm. So one is completely green, the other one is like a iris is brown. Completely red. Oh, so is the other eye restored or is it? That eye is completely restored. Okay, that's the green one? Yeah. Okay, so this eye is But it, is, green. it has no whites. It is completely Just green. green eye. Same same colour as uh, Adam. I don't know. Okay. Um, it's this color. The same kind of tint and everything. I'm, I'm yeah. preternaturally jealous. Not a um, red eye. No, no, green. no green. Not, not like this, a green emerald. Not this color. Not a no. red emerald. No. Green no. emerald. Cool. Yeah. I'm sorry for touching you guys. I know you're thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, 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 Ben's dice aren't here because we, we would never hear the end of it. Um, I right. kind of, I kind of scoot back and fall back on my on my haunches, and uh, yeah, just kind of wait for what happens next. Yeah, so okay. you become conscious. Yep. And uh, I, I, I've actually spoken to Murray before the game uh, <gasps> a little bit about <gasps> what he's experienced. No. So up to so, you, Murray. So I um I uh, turn my eyes on. To Do they work independently? To Charlie. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. One, just, just the, the, like the, 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 my, my, yeah, yeah. Like, like, like my green eyes is delayed, so I turn my oh, brown eye on you. So wrong. And, and then the green one follows. Follows <laughs> from the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, well, one sort of is looking somewhere else, and then like a lazy eye, except it then comes into focus. And, right, right. So it's like a like a slightly behind the time kind of eye. <laughs> um, and I, I uh, look at you. Without necessarily recognizing, but I say your voice brought me back. Oh. Your voice brought me back, Chuck. Well, I, I go over and I, I clasp your hand and okay. I'm <laughs> glad to have you back. All right, cool. <laughs> um, you get, you get, <laughs> when you when you touch my hand, you get this sense of uh, a blackness like the ooze that you've just seen me come out of, but that it was all around you and that you you were living in it. And uh, mm. it was like a uh, like a complete darkness, like when you go caving, you yeah. know, and your eyes never adjust, and you no light comes in, you just total blackness forever. But it's an oozy, so, and it gets into everything, and you breathe it, and you eat like, it, and you drink it, and uh, it just flows through you. And then you're in this sort of total dark, total darkness, and then images drift before your vision, but not before your eyes. So you see things, and what you see is. Uh, you see Egyptians bowing down before this eye god. You see Romans. You see people from Shakespeare's time. You see, you know, Neanderthals, and they're all bowing down before these eyes with these tentacles coming out of it. But these these and things in this black ooze, this they're not gods. they're not in um, they're not in scale. So one will be like it's right next to you. The other one will be like when you have a, a nightmare or a day uh, terror where you see yourself in a tiny tiny scale. From a long distance away, you know, when you close your eyes and you see yourself. Yes, yes. That you see that, but then that it zooms in. Kind but then it sort of zooms in. So these things are like they're images in space, but not in time and not in space because they're they're all out of scale. But you're experiencing them and seeing them, but they aren't in front of your eyes; they're in front of your vision. 
That and so probably and you. A, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I reckon. I reckon just a little one. <laughs> um, should he get a fifty-six? Yes, I do. Cool. So, so, so I, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of shake my head. And, so, and, you know, I'm uh, still, I'm still, gripping, still gripping you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, and then so, so when you, when you sort of shake, try to shake it off, I go, but, but we've been there before. And then I just go. Ah. Uh, and then you wipe your <laughs> oh, eyes. Oh, eye <laughs> your eye turns green. Like a, like a ruby. Head. Like <laughs> like a green ruby. <laughs> I pop it out of my head. Like an amber <laughs> sapphire. <laughs> it's so um, good without a description. Okay, I, I'm I'm visibly shaken by yep. this. Yep. And yeah, I, 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 um, I turn my eyes on Tommy and Paolo. Actually, one of the Tommy actually steps. Not Tommy. So Paolo, Paolo visibly steps back. He's like, like for the okay. first time you ever see yeah, him, yeah. actually looks scared in that one moment when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, what? Well, yeah. So I look at Tommy. Tommy, what up? <laughs> no. How are you going? Uh, I just got. I've got my white gloves. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, no. Yeah. So you wearing gloves? No gloves. No gloves. Doesn't you get even the, matter. You, you get the same vision. Of the the ooze and sort of seeping into every. But I'm I'm used before. to power handshakes. So. Oh no, this is this is not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. There's no sort of domination. It's almost like a, uh, like by touching me, we're connected to the to the blackness that's still there, and you get this vision of, of, these worshippers bowing down to um, Saiga, uh, and there there are plinths in the vision of various times where there are seven. Uh, there are seven plinths, um, and six of them have a have a shattered um, image on it, like the ones we broke. In the, mm. in the, but there's one that's an empty plinth, but it's not broken. What? Who was around it at the time? No, that that doesn't come clear in the, the vision. Mm. So, do you want to make a sound roll too? Oh uh, yeah, I'll definitely make a sound roll. Oh uh, yeah, eleven. Cool. Oh, he, some, uh, I've... It's incredibly disturbing. Um, yeah, you oh, having I'm, experienced Saiga before, perhaps that gives you a I'm little just, bit more of a ooh, shudders, a way of combating it. Mm. Uh, yeah, so Murray is lying on the ground there. I, I, I slowly start to sit up. I've been named Kryptonite Eye by, by Kryptonite. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm no, gonna... I like I like Kryptonite. Booger, I like Kryptonite. I like, I like Kryptonite. I like Booger Eye better. Booger Eye. No, <laughs> no, 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 I've avoided you know, that. You know what that is? That's called picking and choosing what yeah, the chat's saying, Murray. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think that I think there's there's sort of a sense that the eye is looking at you, even though it's a single green thing, and there's a sort of a sense of it moves, but even though it doesn't actually have a focusing point, and there's the no, light reflects off there's the no pupil, it, you can mm. tell when it's looking at you, kind of like, like like we just saw with Paolo. It's there's a sense that like even, oh, even it's turned on you. Mm. Even when I, if if um, you're looking at the back of me, I can see. Yeah, it. so there's sort of like so it's, it's really unsettling because it never actually looks different when you're looking at the person, but. That's but really freaky. Isn't the eye, it? the eye actually turns really on freaky. you, and that's when you go, "Oh God!" Yeah. But the best part about it is when you look really close. It's little suction caps. Like don't just, do that. Don't do just that. Too the far. Too far. Smaller suction too far. caps. Too far. Too far. <laughs> yeah. No. No. And I'm when gonna, you blink, I'm gonna, I'm gonna they get... kind of. Can I say that there is a, a photo on Google, which is a photo where they someone's photoshopped a, some kind of sea crustacean with like it looks like a spiral of jagged teeth. That goes mm. in like a cone in the inside a cone, Ooh. and they photoshopped it onto someone's eyeball, and for like two weeks I could not get the image <laughs> out of my mind. It is seriously <laughs> disturbing. Like it's a, yeah. it's actually like a sand roll disturbing, <laughs> uh, because there's no caption as to what the they call it how, a how disease, you, and how, you're like, I want to know what the disease is. It's disgusting. Yeah, how do you do sand rolls in real life? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lots of asthma puff <laughs> <laughs> and paper bags. <laughs> And sitting in corners, <laughs> rocking back and forth. Yeah, it's it's called you know sleeping with the lights on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Somebody replaced um, Donald Trump's eyes with his mouth. Whoa, oh, that's freaky too. Yeah. But then he was freaky before. Didn't look very different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> so yeah, you, yep, you're. So I'm, I'm I'm slowly standing up and like I'm testing out my limbs because they've sort of been. Um, it's not that they've atrophied, but I haven't used them because I've been basically suspended in this this darkness. Yeah. Um, so I'm just testing out my limbs and making sure they all work. They do. Oh, good. <laughs> just to let you know. <laughs> they do work. Right. So if there's you... one joint, yeah. <laughs> which goes the other direction. Everything except your knees goes forward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time your feet walk, your ears move in the same yeah. way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
All right, so you, you I imagine you head to the head back to maybe Tommy's place or yeah, we can go to my place. I've got a I've got a brownstone in in New York. Yeah, so where we are? Um, I think we're probably in we're in Boston. Boston. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a bit far. We're in Arkham. <laughs> maybe maybe you've moved to Boston recently right. for a time mm -hmm. for work. We could drive. No, drive to New York. Right. Yeah. No, no. Let's let's go to. Come with me. Come on. And Paul is like. Just in the little car, like. <laughs> so he follows driving. Yeah, okay. follows driving. Okay. Very I'm, safe driver. I'm sitting behind Carla. Yeah, the the black oozing stuff is all seeping into oh. my car. So no, 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 no,
I, you know, I, I, I cracked those seals inside the room and I took the amulet and then I drank the poison. And when I pulled the amulet off and smashed it on the ground, the darkness over just came over me and it overwhelmed me. And I have no memory of anything beyond that point. Except everything I told <laughs> you. All of that stuff happened in a, in a, a millisecond. Or and then you were up on the wall, so it felt like very short. Sure. Yeah, but then at the same time, it was it was an like eternal life age. Well, that's crazy. Outside of your window, uh, Chuck, you notice that there's a mother pushing a, a pram, is a pram? Oh, yeah, pram, yeah, is that yeah. called perambulator? Perambulator. Oh yes. <laughs> I pull out my thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> and you shoot her. Just in case, don't no, just. In case. Yeah. She's looking. I pull out. She's my looking up, up, up at the sky because it's during the day. She's looking up at the sky. Uh, it looks like the sun's come out, and that because um, it was raining earlier, mm. uh, and she's looking up with her eyes, and then you notice another person on the other side of the road is kind of looking up as well, shielding their eyes. And the two so, of them then uh, have a discussion. And then the, um, the one that walks up is still looking up. And, right. you know. Do, can, I, can I exit my brownstone and just you know, intercept one of them as they're walking by? Or? Yeah, or you, yeah, you can even just look up if you want yeah, to see yeah, what they're looking I'll, at. I'll check it out. So this, the sun is in the sky. And there hang on, is, hang on. Let me visualize this. Okay, you okay. Your You're not shielding your eyes, are you? No, no. I'm, not. Sun in, I'm just imagining the sun in the sky. Everybody, mind palace time. Let's go. Smiley face. So are they looking at the sun? They were shielding their eyes, okay. looking up, and there is a black spot on the sun. Oh. That is an yeah. absence of light. Mm. So if there even was a black spot on the sun, the, the other light would have covered it. This is clearly just like a hole in the sun. Right. I close my eye and I look at the sun with my green eye only and reach out. Yeah. This is going to be your, like, everything is going to, like, I look at it. Now I look with my no, I, no, I know. I want, I want, I want, I want to, I'm going to get for, an iPad. For these two, yeah. there there is an absence of light right. um, that they see. There is there's a complete absence of light for you. Uh, you get a sense of something slumbering that is about to wake, and it's like right. uh, an eye on the sun itself is is about to open. Right, that's not good. Do the do the do the, do the sun beams? Can I also say that the, yeah. that it isn't in the sun? It's past the sun. So beyond. you're looking beyond, through, through the sun. beyond. Okay. So other other are, are, the, are the, the the um sunbeams around the sun are they do they look like tentacles? Do they does the does the whole sun now look like? No. So it's only there? if the if the sun was this big, okay. mm. it would be a tiny. Was it an orange? It would be a tiny spot on the sun. I can't enough see that, that angle. enough that you can see. So if if this was the sun, enough that you can. You there can we go. There we go. It. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, like that. Right. Yeah. So, so, but it, to everyone else, it looks like there's a hole in the sun, whereas I know we've, we're seeing through the sun. You're seeing through the sun, and the, as the sun moves slowly across, the spot stays where it is. Oh. And then eventually, the, it, it, you don't see it once it passes. The sun right. passes that edge. I, I say enigmatically, it slumbers. Suddenly, there's thunder and flame. Oh. You know, I just hold my hand out towards the spot where it was. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> you get a you get a flash of darkness. Uh, <laughs> make a sound wrong. I'm going to have so much fun. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run for prison because I'm going to press lots of flesh. <laughs> Hi, vote for me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> vote for Cthulhu. Yes. Vote for Cthulhu. <laughs> oh, hail Cthulhu. All hail Cthulhu 2016. <laughs> I think he's already running. Oh. oh. Um, that's your next morning. We are. Oh right. man, look, it's gone crazy. All oh, right. <laughs> no. <it's... laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Murray, Percy's quite tired, obviously. Yeah. Does pain. that exhaust me? It. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, the the actual trauma of okay. what you've just been through is, is he dead on his feet? Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll have a strike system. What do you reckon? Yes. And that's, then... that's strike seven. Strike seven. <laughs> Once we reach forty-seven. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you're incredibly tired. Okay. Um, you you're also you're feeling the the strain of it. Is there anything you want to do before nighttime comes? Is there I anything to... you want to do? Before? So if we're down we're down on the street. Yeah. Where is the most comfortable looking place around me on the street? Tommy's house. Ah, uh, there is a <laughs> like there's more a immediate. more immediate. Is there a park bench? Yeah, let's I, say there's park bench. I wander over to the park bench and just lie down. 
Wait, wait, wait. I'm just outside my house? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to yep. steer you, you Oh, okay. Inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Black Ooze in the just... <laughs> 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 the eye follows you from behind. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. As, as you're walking me that way, I'm looking that way. <laughs> At Polo, who's just like... <laughs> um, so, yeah, Murray, okay. Murray, Murray kind of has a bit of a harass. Yep. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do? Can I call the um, the local astronomical society or a... Sure, yeah. Some kind of um, people with the large telescope. I don't know what what, yeah. what there is around Boston. Yeah, let's say let's say you can. Yeah, there's um there is a large. There's, I don't actually there's know. There's one but... telescope on the top of the hill. It's like you know trees all going up. It's a graveyard that's right, right. Like, yeah. yeah, it was built on an old Indian burial ground. That's the one. Yeah, that's yeah. Those people. Uh, they, let's say there is a telescope with all those just around. out of town, about thirty minute drive out of town. Right. Um, can I can I call them? Do sure. Yeah, yeah. Them? Yeah, uh, and I I, I want to just. Uh, so what's a good name for a for somebody who works who works as an astronomer? Name for an astronomer, please. Name for an astronomer. Oh. Professor. Professor somebody. Ben's going to bed. But night, Ben. Good night, boom. Ben. Sirenscape sounds in chat only. We tried to get Sirenscape working, but uh, we didn't have a long enough cord. Night, We're ben. Sorry, Ben. Night. We tried. Can't stand Ber Derek's bad puns. Anymore. I love Derek's bad puns. <laughs> um, I've decided that when um, uh, when Cthulhu stands for president, his name is actually going to be Who uh, Lou L U Hutch, which is H U C H, because that's the letters of Cthulhu reorganized into a normal sounding American name. Lou Hutch. Lou yeah. Hutch. Lou Hutch, Hutch for president. Pick the greater of two evils. <laughs> oh my gosh, little. Uh, no, no, we're going. Dr. Haley? Dr. Haley. Po pointing. P O Y N T I N G. Oh. Haley. Uh, Professor. Reginald Fairfield Esquire. <laughs> give, give me your best. Give me, not your best. Give me, give me a, one that strike that looks at you. Well, Haley. 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 Comment. Haley. Haley. The profess can, can we also have a, a reclusive? Is Haley a, the, um, the male version of Haley? Haley as in Haley's comment. Yeah, cool. The so male. male. Yeah, yeah. Male. Can the, can the, can the um, what do you call it? The telescope? Be called the Professor Renard Gould Fairfield Esquire Astronomy Lab. Yes. Can you give me that again? The Professor Professor the Reginald Fairfield, Fairfield Esquire yeah. Astronomical um, Esquire, did you Astronomy say? Yeah. Astronomical Laboratory. Astronomy. And why don't we make why don't we point why don't we make him Doctor Pointing Haley? Right. Sure. Yeah. Pointing is a first name. <laughs> Pointing Haley. Um. This is uh, Professor Pointing Haley from the Professor Reginald Esquire Astronomical Laboratory. Mm. Hi there. Uh, just uh, wondering if you guys have been doing any astronomical surveys of the sun today. I'm sorry. Could you say it again? We're a little bit busy here. I was just wondering if you had some images that you captured of the sun earlier on today. Yes, we've been getting phone calls all day. Right. Um, I'm uh, conducting an investigation into this. I'm sorry. Who are you? My name is uh, Chuck Goldman. From uh, Goldman and Associates. Co sorry, hang on. Could you hang on just for a second? I'm sorry. Was, yes, no. Yes, and another person. It's a, I think he's a reporter. Sorry, who are you again? Uh, I'm, a, I'm an investigator. I'd like to come... You're with the police? Yes. I've been charged with uh, uh, a, a certain event that was occurred earlier on today, and I'd like to come and see your... Well, uh, you were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. We're on our way. <laughs> Excellent. He hangs up. Okay. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> had this elaborate story. You wouldn't let me get it out. <laughs> um, can I follow? Yeah, yeah. is I mean, he asleep? No, no, no. He, oh, you're just, he's just exhausted. So you can definitely put him into the car. Yeah, like Polo the can just like yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the car. Uh, really, really. <laughs> yeah, Polo, Polo picks you up like this <laughs> and puts you into the into the trunk, and then puts a pillow under you and goes, "Sleep well." And then, <laughs> all right. You uh yeah you you I out. feel I feel very comfortable in the darkness <laughs> of the trunk. No no it's quite a quite a um it's a the it's darkness. a place for people to think. It's not really ever dark to you though. You no see. you've no darkness. No ex I, I have no darkness. You, no so you, you travel darkness. thirty minutes out of town and <laughs> yeah there's a uh, there's a graveyard no there's <laughs> yeah there's the telescope up on mm -hmm. on a small the, hill the dome so, thing the dome, the, yeah. Yeah, right. so it's yeah. on a hill there wouldn't be no houses around mm -hmm. it because that's white pollution it would yeah. be just mm -hmm. yeah. dark as dark can be. Yeah. Um yes congratulations forger of masks you have named the institution. 
Yeah. The, the Professor Reginald Esquire Astronomical Laboratory. <laughs> oh, I missed that astronomical. Oh, oh that's a big name. Oh, the P R E A R. <laughs> Pre 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 yeah. Pre and should we should we have a break as we drive up in the car? Yeah, let's do that. So All you right. take a break and we'll see you in break. five minutes. An hour. Everybody, Man, everybody, get flies. your um, get a drink, get some get some food. Yeah, get some energy. Have, uh, some, have some breakfast, probably. For breakfast, <laughs> um, late night snack, midnight <laughs> snack. Um, yeah, lunch. We'll see you in a bit. Sure, it's lunch time somewhere. I can fly. Maybe we'll even turn the audio off this time. <gasps> oh, he went.
attention. Anyway, that's, so that's how I sold my appendix on eBay. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, you have quite a bit of life on you now. I know. The sun's coming out. Oh, has it got a black dot in the middle of it? Oh my god, it's because... No, but look at, like, he's got, like, a strip I can't there. see it. Murray's kind of Ooh. glowing, too. I like it. I can't see me. Hey guys, how's it going? Hello. Wow, I can hear myself. I can hear myself as well. I'll turn that off. All right, That's cool. Good idea. All right, Let's so go. you were traveling towards Professor Reginald Esquire's astronomical laboratory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And which is short yeah. name is the um Prail Prail Foundation something. I just, and it oh, doesn't have it. Sorry. What are you guys doing? I'm sorry, um, I wasn't Murray. Murray. It's Murray's first time on the show. Oh, 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 it won't show that until... And it doesn't literally oh. eat right. your data. John. does. Yeah. No, it does in the Cthulhu universe. <laughs> oh. yeah. It consumes it. All right, so, yeah, the laboratory, the... Uh, Before we do that, they forge of masks. You're awesome. Um, yeah, I, just, cool I just saw that comment and then my thing went all nuts. Yeah, he said, thank you, thank you for all these amazing episodes and shows. Been a fan since the first Cthulhu campaign was inspired oh. by Gone Hunting. Oh, Gone Hunting. I like Gone Hunting. Gone that was a fun good. adventure. That was Percy and... That I got together and, and started then, um, my... What's his name? Um, he started Shane. his own campaign. Good on you. Oh, cool. This is this is one of the things that I like so much about doing this is that, you know, we hear stories like that of people who've, who've gone out and be inspired to start their own campaign. I just think it's fantastic. Luckily, we haven't had anyone contact us and say, yeah, I went and told people that I role-played and they beat me up, so... <laughs> 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 Which is good. Which is a good sign. That is a really good. You know, I, can I, can that keeps me up at night. Can, every, yeah, yeah. can yeah. everyone just put a smiley face in there for Murray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that oh, was no. Yeah. It's, oh, look, it's very true that I know that there are a lot of role players out there who are mm. reluctant to tell other people in other parts of their lives that they role play yeah. because it's it's uh, it's not something they're comfortable sharing because they don't feel that this is a world they want to let everyone know about because they feel that it's you know. It's not just a world, it's the many worlds. Well, it's many, but yeah. It's I, beautiful. I, I tell my wife I'm out drinking, you know. Just to... Oh, is that why she never lets you come out? <laughs> yeah, so like, you should think about maybe like, <laughs> yeah, maybe you helping should... orphans might be a better one to go with. Yeah, look, that's that's next week's one. Was yeah. it Jock or Jack? Tanner. Jack Tanner. Jack Tanner. Jack, Jack, Jack Tanner. Wire to the, the stars. Wire to the stars. Okay, Thanks, so, uh, yeah, so you arrived there, there's a... There's a, a a office type building off to the side where um, they probably go through all the um, where they they do most of their work and then the telescope there built any, onto onto that. Is there any? Is there lots of cars? Like, is there a lot of? Um... No, this no, there isn't actually. Thirty minutes out of town. Uh, yeah, so the car people park... are putting the value on it that you guys are putting onto it. Right, right. Most people just assume it's some kind of ast astronomical effect, and that you know they'll hear about it in the local paper tomorrow. All right. Mm. So we walk in there. Is it? Well, yeah, you, you go in and the door's unlocked. You just walk in and you're going into the telescope part. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're, we're, we're searching for um, the, the professor. What was his name? Um, I've professor pulled, Haley. I've, I've pulled my hat Haley. down low over my uh, my brow. Do you have an eye patch at all? Um, I didn't have one yet. I'm going to have to get myself an eye patch. If I'm yeah, going to keep that as a... As a... You can just walk around with one eye shut the entire yeah. time. Yeah. Well, no, because <laughs> they're all weird. Oh. Yes. Oh. Depth perception issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know because I was used to that because I've, I've been used to, you know, in fact, it's just the other way around because I lost one eye because I pulled it out when I saw the tentacles in it. Um, your, um, your clothing doesn't have any of the black liquid on it at okay. all. It's, it's almost evaporated. Right. Okay. So here, Professor Haley before you see him, and because you hear it, him, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. now it's a him, all right. To surname, Professor Haley. Yeah, Pointing Haley. Pointing Haley. Pointing Haley. <laughs> My <Whoa>. God! <laughs> okay, are you here, man? For the last time, I don't know what the cause of it is. I'm still researching it. Hangs up the phone. I, uh, Your Majesty? <clears throat> Your Majesty. <laughs> I stride into his office and I say, I need photos. 
Okay, so yeah, so Pon Professor Ponting Haley is, as you'd expect, a man with a, a slight hunch to his back. Uh, he's an older gentleman with very strong glasses on and a weathered face as if he's been out in the sun a little too much. Oh, really? Yeah. Professor. He's, Usually he's astronomers don't get too much I know, sun. I know. Yeah, yeah. so. <laughs> okay. So Hello, cool. Professor. We're all here now. Uh, who are you people? We talked on the phone earlier. I'm uh, from the uh, the government. We're here to investigate this spot that you saw on the sun. Oh, uh, yes. Hey, he's a, um, Professor Ponting Haley and takes your hands and says, <laughs> looks at He takes yours and then has a moment where he yeah. looks at you. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Percy Spot. But pleasure. Call me Percy. And I've got Polo standing right behind me. Tommy, pleasure to meet you. He shakes your hands and then. I uh, goes to shake Polo's hand, and Polo actually steps forward and shakes his hand very formally, <laughs> then steps back. It doesn't actually introduce himself, though. Yeah. When he does that, I give him a look. <laughs> he is not. He actually avoids eye contact with you. He's not with you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gave the thumb. <laughs> um, sorry, what, what were you after? The phone starts ringing. The... I need you to stop talking to the me... press or any... I'll go... I just go along and say... Hello, this is the observatory. Um, this is... I'm sorry. Just one sec. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Investigator Goldman, I'm from the government. I'm going to need you to give me those photos that you took of the sun earlier on today. Of course. Um, yes. What do you make of it? He, he heads off and... Uh, what do you he, mean? He's got, he's got his own dark room and everything right. like that. Right. And so he comes back with a series of photos that he's developed himself and um, brings them into you. And what do we see? Yes, they're, they're incredibly remarkable. They're, uh, it, it appears as if there is a hole in the sun. It, 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 it's not a sunspot that we can see. It, it seems as if there is it's, something is blocking the sun. And whatever size it is, it must be a, a meteorite, an asteroid, um, a, a dwarf planet, a rogue moon, something that is, that is blocking the sun. But it must be very close to us if it is creating something of that size. It slumbers. Uh, uh, I'm not sure I understand, sir. And it's behind the sun. There's that awkward silence <laughs> that appears. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to have a look at these. And, uh... All right, I have a look at the photos. <laughs> You're like, in the, in the background, I'm like, what do you mean? No, no, I don't want you. <laughs> no, I don't want to auto set a steak knife. Yeah, no. Tell me the tongue on no, no, like like customer service. You're like, You're like, yeah, you want to comment? Here's a comment. Oh. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So you, uh, you're looking at the photos. Yeah. You, you can yep. take a spot hidden roll. Ooh. Well, oh, now do I get anything extra with my spot hidden, or is it a good idea? Let's give you. Yeah. We're not using the word advantage and disadvantage. Yeah, but no, yeah, bonus, yeah, just uh, get a bonus d10. Okay. Cool. Ooh, I'll do that. Look. Ooh, big red one. Yeah. Black and white. It's either a 23 or a 24. <laughs> uh, so I make one it. Is it? Uh, it's a 23. <laughs> I make it. Okay, so tick the box. Yeah, it, to your eyes, looking at it, you yep. do notice that it's exactly how you think it is. It, it is a hole, literally a hole in the sun. Right. It, it, you can feel that um, that there is something out there. It, it emanates, cool. that it reflects it. Right. It isn't a poor shadow on photography. Yep. For you, you see the hole. Cool. Where are we? We're, we're inside. We're like inside the to... observatory. For you, because the because the telescope isn't exactly the, the greatest. You know, it's it's and it's in the daytime and all this kind of stuff. So for you, it's probably just a big white circle with a black dot on it. Like Where's that's as sun? much as it would. So be. what time of day is this? Uh, this is probably we're getting on about four o'clock. Okay, so the sun where we are in the building, the sun's about there. Okay, yeah. Or in here, right there. Okay, so, so we, yeah, okay, well, uh, well, okay, we can yeah. use the action. Hang on, hang on, a pretty, pretty dramatic point. So, so I'm in, I'm in the building. There's no light. There's no, <laughs> there's no actual light coming into the building. No, no so, natural light. No natural light from here. Yeah. No. So basically, through the wall, looking at the photo, I just turn and look at where the sun <laughs> is through, like, like I'm looking at the sun, even though the sun's outside and we can't see where the sun is. Uh, the you, sun. You, go. you don't. Yeah. You don't look at the sun. You look at the hole. And yeah, hole, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sun is moved. Okay, yeah, so the hole is... So where the hole was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you see that there is... You look at the hole and the yeah. hole looks... You read my mind. And the hole looks back at you. Wow. Yeah. Cool. The hole looks back at me. I say that out loud. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Haley is, is looking more and more disturbed. He was already quite haggard and stressed, um, but now he's quite worried as well. Mm. Uh, sorry, what did you want? What information? We're good. We're good. Thank you very much for your assistance. Your uh, compliance has been noted. So I'm not to talk to the press a- anymore? No, that's fine. <laughs> I think I think we should go to the library <laughs> <laughs> and talk with our friend Nigel. 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 Yeah. <laughs> but Does that name so any bells? I just want to Is ask that what you say, you. Nigel? I say, yeah, we should go and talk to Nigel. He'll help. Uh, Dr. Walters. You know Nigel. Ah, oh, oh, he's my good friend. We went to university together. He's a good guy, isn't he? He is. He was the uh, best man at my wedding. <laughs> I look. You guys get along well. Would he be able to help us with something like this? Because why would he be able to help? He w- he's a librarian. He has Genicals. books on this. Yeah. Look, <laughs> we need to we need to get answers on this fast. You know, the government needs its answers quick. Right. So is I'm this, still not following why Nigel would be helpful. Why did the whole move across I guess the sun? We have astro- astronomical books and, and textbooks here, if you want to borrow any. Oh. That's nothing astronomical. Yeah. Oh, I'm turning into Russell Crowe, listen to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here's my bag. <laughs> I got 30 odd foot of grunts. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, let, let me, let me be clear. Up. What we need is we need to get a. I need to understand why the hole in the sun... All the, there is no hole in the sun. Whatever it was moved in front. It looked like it moved oh, Well, it's obviously some kind of planet. So we're, we're looking into it. We're looking into it. You can you can tell me that that's what it was. Um, we'll, we'll know better at night time. Obviously, our telescope doesn't really work during the day. So when the night time comes, hopefully we'll be able to see some reflections off whatever planetary body or um, is it through unknown, that door? unidentified object. Is, that it, UFO? is it through that door? Is what is what through the, he avoids the, the toilet. Yeah, the toilet. <laughs> it's got like yes. a, it's got like a man. Yes, <laughs> yes the telescope is through the door. It's labels. Can we look at the? I, I, I wander over towards. Just be the... careful. Sanitary conditions, and dust on the lens, and and <laughs> he walks right in. Yeah, yeah. And then where, where's it oriented to? Where is it following the sun, or is it back or pointing at where the hole should be? Um, it's pointing where the hole should be. Yeah. I cool. Can... Cool. Yeah, I'd like to see it firsthand too. So I just keep talking I, um... and say, <laughs> so, can you please explain to me why you, a man of science, haven't seen this dwarf planet that came so close it could nearly have hit the planet? What what, what are you doing? I thought you the guys sheer, had this covered. He starts explaining then, about the sheer amount no, no, no. of space a telescope can actually watch yeah, at any given yeah, time yeah. and goes into all that kind of stuff. But then I just keep speaking <laughs> yeah, yeah. the top of it. And he's more and more frustrated. Yeah, I'm sure. you know. I'm um, sure he likes talking to you, Tommy the Tongue. <laughs> yeah. um, Please get out of my I'm gonna, laboratory. Is, is, there, is there like a small eyepiece, like a platform up to the, yep. to the eyepiece? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, cool. So it's I, all I brass. Cause that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Polished brass. And a bit of wood. Cyberpunk. Yeah, and the steam. Hit Steam bunk, sorry. I um Oh and the thing opens. Yeah. Yeah. The dome. I'm gonna dome. widen my eyelid <laughs> God, that's and right. put my green eye <laughs> and into, the, um, into the into the eyepiece <laughs> and to look at the hole. Out. He yeah, you see you see through that eye, you see the hole. Yeah. Clear as day. No, you see, yeah, you see the, the hole in, in space. And it stretches out. Cool. So it's I say like I say I say out loud just before you say it. <laughs> I know you. And then you hear this. <laughs> I know you too. <laughs> oh, and it speaks to my eye. Yeah. You hear the because chanting. The you hear the again. chanting inside your head. Cool. Oh, it yeah. Starts to grow louder. It it seems to be chanting. Is it the Saiga? Is the chant that I've heard in, in, the, yeah. in the ooze? You don't nice. you don't follow it because it, it speaks in so many different tongues. Ooh. Sanro. Sanro. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hilarious. What am I? I'm, oh, I'm low now. Oh, my God. I'm so low now. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Nope. You failed? I failed. So, um, 1D4. You're very nice. Okay, so uh, you're in the room with uh, the professor. The wireless is on. And as, as you're talking, he starts to explain to you. And Paulo 
um, looks over towards you and um, his eyes go to the wireless that's um, in the background. So you kind of tune into what he's saying. And uh, you hear that the reporter is talking about a man dressed in full legionnaire clothing and armour has been, has been found in, uh, in Boston in a pool of black liquid. And mm-hmm. it looks like there's a sinkhole. Um, similar to a sinkhole they've just recently found in a cemetery <laughs> and they're talking about um, the man must have been in costume and he's raving and talking in a Latin, is it? Latin in that type of area? Uh, yeah, yeah, Latin. Yeah. So Latin. A, a, a Roman, 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 Roman legion. Roman legion, yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool. Speaking yep. in Latin. and um, yeah. Yeah, But what he's saying is hard to understand. They're talking about, you know, he talks about an eye, about this, nice. you know, made up words like that, that yep. the reporter yep. doesn't Good speak, got- say what they are. And I've got school points in Latin. We better be hidden. Hang on. High five, ready? Be ready? <laughs> but obviously, the man, the man was going to a he costume a party mm-hmm. or something like that. Maybe yep. he's inebriated or that, but he fell into this sinkhole or something. Maybe yep. he's knocked his head. They're not sure. Where is this? But they're talking about this idea that perhaps some kind of mining or something or underground caverns have created sinkholes wow. that have fallen in through and oil spill into the surface. Can I just say really it's really good? disconcerting having the sun in my eyes right now? Yeah. Just because the adventure, not because of the sun's in my eyes, but like. Wait, what was that? Shadow? Yeah, there is a black dot. Oh no. my no. god. So he's been taken to the hospital and they're hoping to be able to find out more about him. But if anyone knows the person, to contact the police. Okay. I go like this. Mm. Hello? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll be on our way. Yeah, cool. Has anybody... He has no idea what you're doing because I don't think they invented that yet. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just pretending. It's just as yeah. if I got a phone. Yeah, because it's 1920. But it's, it's, I have a radio. I don't know if they had earpieces back then, did Not they? Not they had, the, they had the, the mouthpiece and the headpiece. But I think they had the one hand, one piece by that point. The yeah. other one was the, the funnel and the ear. For, for, right. a, for a radio? I don't think did they no, have no, 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 no. I don't think they had this kind of experiment invention. in the thirties with radios. Um, mm. I don't think they had it that back then. Then I just must look insane. Yeah. <laughs> ahead of you, ahead you, of you must look ahead of your time. Yeah. <laughs> You're a futurist. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's seen right. a lot of weird things today. So yeah, you go and speak into the air mm. and you say, "Right, we're going." Yeah. Cool. cool. These guys haven't heard that, so yeah. they. Haven't I, I'm, I make my way down from the. Um, you, by the way, you don't see anything through there except the sky. Okay. Yeah. I, I make my way down and, and I'm saying it stretches back to the beginning. All right. Why don't we talk about it in the car? Let's talk about it in the car, Percy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good man. Okay. Bolo. <laughs> and then when when um when Bolo get the car when Tommy walks in. Yeah. Tommy looks insane. Polo also looks. Oh no. Polo doesn't look insane. He just walks behind him. I look. And then at, I tell him to get the car. I look. Yeah. Get I look car. at Tommy. And my eye on. focuses onto you. Yeah. It's disturbing. You know. But the thing is, I'm used to. I've been through so much. I just got like Oh, there was a question before about what's your sanity now because you've been out here a long time. Um, what is it? I started really, really high. I'm on, what am I? 80 now. Cool. So, what, what are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> um, I'm looking at him, but I want him to get a sense that. Um, yeah, actually, it did cross my mind. <laughs> it did actually cross my mind. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To link this campaign with the, right. the Roman Wall campaign. Now we're going to have werewolves and. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, that'd be like, that would be like co keeping. Yeah. Co keeping. Yeah, well, we did that with Under the Gods. We could do that. So, yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, what are you guys doing? Going to the car and. I want to know whether, whether, whether Tommy gets a, when, when Tommy gets a sense of when I'm looking at him that I know what he's about to tell us. Mm. Tommy doesn't really think. He's not a <laughs> yeah. But um, okay, you feel these unfamiliar sensations. In the bottom of your, the bottom of your tummy, there's yeah. like a what? I don't know. Just what's this feeling? And then I just, I just keep talking because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I do. <laughs> so guys, um, they don't call me Tommy the Feet. <laughs> yeah, I don't run nowhere, yeah. and I'm not so handsy. Okay, so this is what's happening. Okay. Apparently, another one of your little holes has come up, and there's a Roman guy just came out of it, all dressed up, you know, like, <laughs> like a dress-up kind of thing with the little shield and sword. I um. He was a what? When you say leg, that, legend, when you, legend. When you call that, I go, I I call that the name Marcus. Legendaris, legend, legend. 
I don't know, some, you know. Marcus Virilius, the legionary. Sure, why not? Okay, so let's go. He's in the hospital. We must go to him. We must go to him. <laughs> we must go to him. <laughs> 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 we'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Just don't give me the eye again. <laughs> it's like you've got the eye and the stinky eye. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at some, there's some people who know most of our games. If a monk walks in quoting the book of Revelation, the circle will be complete. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Stoney, you must have like, wow, how cool is that? <laughs> how cool is Stoney? I like him. Oh, like every Cthulhu game ever. <laughs> oh, it's just one world. <laughs> so, I okay. Let's, Polo, come Polo's, on. Polo's got the car. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's leave this professor back to his work. Finding his dwarf planet. <laughs> and find rings. I, um, I got this. I just, as I walk out, I'm like... Yeah, cool. <laughs> I put my hand on Paolo's shoulder when he's in the driver's seat. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Drive like your life depended on it. No, I, I will drive like uh, Mr. Cavarotti's life depends on it. Do that. <laughs> he looks in the rear <laughs> And he goes like this. He's just like. <laughs> yeah, he's just, yeah, he moves yeah, it. Yeah, like, he moves so, the mirror. He moves the mirror, and the green eye that was stuck in the middle of the mirror kind of moves it out of shot. <laughs> All right, where is he? Where is he taking you to? To the hospital. Okay. Where yeah. this legionnaire is going. When you arrive at the hospital. What's the name of the hospital? Uh, the mis- oh, name oh, of the yeah, hospital. Name of the hospital. It's Can a private. Was, it's a private hospital. Can yes. so, deer bursts in through the observatory. Oh, oh man! Yeah, carnivorous. Like that takes you back. <laughs> wow. Oh, those were the days of the carnivorous deer. Absolutely. Forge of masks. You're awesome as well. That's awesome. That's a lot of O's and so. Forge. Drive like you stole it. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. I yeah. did. <laughs> All Look. the cars are stolen from, from Mr. Caparot. Yeah. Very good business. I like it. Okay, cool. So, yeah. the right, name so we, of the hospital That's not is... Drive Like You Stole It Hospital, because that's a great name for a hospital. <laughs> drive Like You Stole It Hospital. Drive Like You Stole It Hospital. No. Yeah. The Arthur Morrison Sanitarium. Or St. Regis's. Arthur Morrison. What's Arthur Morrison? What is that? Is that a reference to something? No, I just that's the name of the hospital. That's awesome. We could have the Saint, we could be in the Saint Regis, the, Regis I, the Saint Regis wing of the Arthur Morrison Sanitarium. Saint Regis wing. Yeah. Saint Regis wing of the Arthur Morrison. Thank you, Denny. Thank you, Forger. Okay. You, uh, I don't know. I don't know. So you arrive at the Arthur Morrison Sanitarium in the, at the Saint Regis wing. You talk to a nurse there to get directions as to. There is a whole host of reporters waiting in the waiting room. You you see, so you recognise some of them, and mm-hmm. I, um, they they give one, a couple of them come up to you and pay their respect to you. Yeah, I walk yeah. up and I go, "Good to see you. Yeah. I liked your story. It was great. Yeah. You're doing such a good job." I, I look, I scan, <laughs> I scan around like I'm looking through the walls to see if I can sense where Marcus is. You do sense a kinship, yes, okay. on in the Saint Regis wing. Great. You know um, roughly which bed he's Okay, in. I'm going to just head there. And oh, this is like old left, school nurses like with, their little, with the yeah, little yeah. things. And yeah, it, yeah. It's just like uh, white walls and aprons. like steel beds. And yeah, yeah. There is a, a strong a strong looking woman in who's looking at a nurse's outfit who the walks matron. up to you, the matron. She says, can I help you, gentlemen? I'm sure you can. We're here from the government. We're here about the, um, what was his name again? The... The, 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 yeah, the guy who came in dressed all funny like a Roman guy speaking Latin. We've got the professor here to be able to translate for you. Which professor? Oh. I'm here for my friend Marcus. He's, and uh, then I start talking in Latin and talking the the, 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 exact same the name of the cohort, the name of the legion, and the name of his fort that he was stationed at. As you can oh. see, he's very keen to talk to his friend. <laughs> if you could uh, show us the way. Of course. And then I open my right eye. <laughs> yeah, she. Are you okay, sir? I might need an eye patch later. I will. I will speak to one of the nurses. Good. Thank you, Matron. Good night. Can I speak to Marcus? Would now? you like me to get you a doctor? No, no, I'm fine. I need to speak to Marcus. He needs me more than I need any assistance, except for an eye patch. <laughs> like seriously, that thing freaks me out. She she takes you to the wing and shows you the door, and then quickly moves away. Her whole strong kind of strong willed yep. uh, appearance <laughs> crumbles <laughs> completely shaken by yeah by does, your she, eye. does she does she like trip like 
I'm gonna like try and catch her. Oh yeah, like, okay, so she she trips and, yeah, you can catch her. And she tries she to remove it. herself from you as quickly yeah. as she can. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you very much, and and you know, moves off. Right. And yeah, lying lying in bed, uh, held down by leather straps, you can see that there, Marcus is there. Mm -hmm. He is in a hospital gown. Okay. And his legionnaire outfit and everything like that, which you'd think would be covered in the black ink, is is completely missing. Yeah. You know, obviously, similar situation that happened to you. It is off to the side. Okay. Um, the sword and any weaponry is obviously not there. And uh, he, yeah, his hands are clenched and he's mm -hmm. sort of pushing against right. the the chair. And um, I tell Polo, Polo, we're gonna need a little bit of a how you say privacy. And then just Polo just goes to the door and just. Yeah, he, he becomes the door. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm going to go and put my hand on um, Marcus's chest in the centre and calm him down with, with his touch. His eyes are everywhere. Yeah. They're looking, I'm gonna, looking around wildly. I'm going to bore my green eye into his... He, well, as soon as head. you step into yeah. his line of vision and your eye, he, meet, he meets your mm -hmm. eye and he just screams and just urinates. Like, oh, okay. absolutely, yeah, petrified. Okay. Just stares into the eye and just start screaming. Okay, I close, so I close it. And then I... I, I he start, yeah, he's in bed. Then I open right, right. So <laughs> I, put, I put my hand on my chest trying to calm him down with the with the sort of like a, uh, a symbiotic black ooze relationship. <laughs> um, we're, 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 we're from brothers. the ooze, ooze Brothers. Yeah. yeah. We're the Ooze, ooze Brothers. brothers. Um, not the river, da, 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 not the river in Yorkshire. Um, oh, no, it's a <laughs> Ooze River joke. Oh, yeah. that, is, that is hard work. But anyway. Um, you know, <laughs> How long I held on to that, Jared? <laughs> yeah, like, like, like 17 years. Can I just say that? Can I just say <laughs> The best puns are the long, long, <laughs> the long old puns. The no one gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, hopefully someone's watching from Yorkshire anymore, eventually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's just, it's a, the, the river that goes into, into York. Um, you'll be finding out out in the Roman Cthulhu game. Oh, oh. Um, and um, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah. Almost like um, the, the, the ooze is a drug. Almost like I'm sort of trying to get a, like an ooze fix. Oh, um, cool. Oh, you want to go back to the ooze? Well, I'm just, just as a sort of to be reconnecting with the ooze. So I'm trying to calm him down and, and sort of bond despite the screaming and the urination with the eyes. Yeah, cool. You, after a little while, he does, he does slowly start to calm down. Okay. And you hear him speaking in Latin saying, I, I've got it. I stole it. I stole it. He okay, will never right. appear again. I've got it. And he starts laughing. Okay, okay. maniacally? Yeah, maniacally. Uh, in Latin, I speak back to him and say, where is it? I have it. They tried to take it, but it's mine. It's mine. I will break it. And they will not see us again. We are free. We are free, brother. And he looks at okay. you. And, he, and he's holding, it, he's holding okay. his hand up against the leather. He's going, we're free. I cradle his fingers. Yeah, they yeah. are. They are yep, you know, yep. white and just... Blood just <coughs> yeah, made a little bit of time right. through wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. Welding in. I try to destroy it, but I can't. Right. And then his face, I can't destroy it. He's coming. He's coming, Percy. I know how. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I reckon there's a roll oh, in there. Okay. What do you want? Uh, oh, charm? Oh, charm? Charm. 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 Charm's our new one. Ooh. A one. Ooh. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> the finger's like... <laughs> and inside, mm -hmm. you can see that there's a, a little... Um, the same kind of necklace as what you destroyed mm -hmm. last time mm -hmm. is, is in his hands. And the strength at which he would have been holding it would have crushed it. Because mm -hmm. it was a clay... It was a clay um, artifact. Right. And so, and so he holds this eye, essentially, a clay eye in his hands. And he... He holds okay. it out to so you. See, yep. the embedded yep. is the fingernail and blood uh, marks across nice, his nice. hand. I, it's like that's all I, his life is. I open it. I, I take it from him, and I'm, I stroke his, his arm. <laughs> and then I open my him. right eye and look at the amulet. I just hello, my <sighs> anniversary. We met again. He um he just starts laughing, and you can see the look of relief on his face. Mm -hmm. I like this at the door, the nurses are like, what's happening? He's like, no, no, nothing. <laughs> yeah, the maniacal laughing and screaming. And <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry, nothing to see here. No, nothing is happening. Polo. So, uh, yeah. So you have in your hands the artifacts. 
things that he said, so so piecing together, he said he, he tried he tried to destroy it, he can't. Yep. And um they'll never get through, he said, I've stolen it. So how does this relate to the hole in the sky? You say that is the now. question. Yeah. Can I ask a quick question? The hole in the sky, was it at an angle which it would have like you know how we saw the side we could set sense the sides of the earth were going sheer. straight down? Yeah. Was it sheer would that if you you know, would that align with where we saw the hole in the sky? I think it's too hard to tell that kind of thing, yeah. But out of the game, just keep it a player instead. <laughs> Chuck. Yeah, probably too hard hey, to Chuck, tell. you remember when we were in the trenches and we used to put one of our helmets on a on a bayonet and then yeah. hold it up above the trench to get where their snipers were from? And Jerry was yeah. Jerry was all over that, yeah. And he'd give away his position. You got some, some ideas? Well, I think we got a hole in the sky and we got the thing at once. I kind of get the sense that we're dealing with forces that are a little bit beyond us. Maybe we need some help. Beyond you, maybe. The only, <laughs> the only person I know. <laughs> well, yeah, it's just like it's the eye. Don't worry, you'll get over it. Um, I know someone who might be able to help me with this. To the library. Oh no. <laughs> you gonna head to the library? Yeah, I think we need some oh, Nigel. You're right. some oh, Nigel oh, 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 do I want to? I want to taunt the hole in the sky. Yeah, you can taunt him on the way. You're like, eh! <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. I'm gonna like, stare at the hole and hold up what it wants. Okay, so you you hold it up to the sky. You go outside and mm -hmm. on the street. Yeah, this that's that's the wisest thing you could do. Mm. Okay, no, wait, 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 not about what, wisdom. What time is it now? <laughs> the um. And now it's probably evening time. Yeah. 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 So you notice in the sky because the clouds have cleared that the an area where there should be stars there aren't any. Right. Sorry, it's a strike. I know I'm anticipating. I say hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 I was stopping there. <laughs> and hello, yeah, the the moon is moving towards it. So you, you can stick around and see what happens there, but it's probably quite <laughs> likely that oh, you'll know what, gonna what's going to happen. Oh, it's going to through the moon. Yeah, yeah. Every line that Percy says is eldritch gold. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. He has to leave here soon. Remember that. Just, you know, has to get through the door with that ego. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you, hold up, you hold up the, the image to, mm -hmm. to the, 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 the statue the to, the, to the hole, and you feel the ground starting to sink beneath your feet. You're in my car okay. at this time. Images of um of uh, uh, flood into your brain okay. of the of uh, the chanting of all those different types of people and creatures yep. all yep. worshiping the great eye essentially and the seals that were sitting around the right. um around the outside of what looked to be some kind of like hole in the in the gas space and time and uh, the seals are all broken except for one. Right. What. Do we get any? Cool. Is there any clear on where it is? Like, where where the hole is? No, no, where, like the, where the the unbroken. Yeah, like is it becoming clearer? It, like, it's pretty clear it... to um Percy that it's from it, where man. he's from. Right. So I, I um, where are you? Where he came from. Where are you? I'm with you. You with me? So Chuck, you know how I used to be arrogant and suffer from hubris. Sure. Yeah, I still do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I give you the I give you the ambulance. Oh. <laughs> oh, I wanna take up my take up my uh Could that be a t shirt place? <laughs> you know how I used to suffer from arrogance and humor? Yeah, well I still <laughs> do. <laughs> I, I pull out my handkerchief and I, I wrap it up in there. Yep. The ground underneath you is starting to turn Sorry. black and liquid. So you step out of the way. As soon as, you, as soon as you hide it away and start to run, you see that the, the hole there starts to spread outside the hospital. Okay. Right. To the car! <laughs> Follow! Follow! Now I'm like you stole it. <laughs> he nods. He shifts the mirror. <laughs> yeah, safety first. Yep. Check the bell. Oh. Check the mirrors. Okay, so you head to the library. Can, the li can I just can I just inspect the thing? Can yeah. I, can I turn it over? Is there anything on the back, or is it? Um, no, there, there, there is a symbol on the back, which um, 
which I mean, you guys yeah. would all know that eight is a, is about a, a number essentially. This being seven, right? So it looks like it's a seven, the seventh statue, the seventh pillar of the seven. Mm. But other than that, it is a very rudimentary design. Right. So it's not um, it's... old um, baked clay, yep. uh, little statue. And when I say little, I mean like little. Yeah. Fits inside the bunk. If it, yeah, it fits, it, it fits inside the bunk. And, and and this guy had it and was clutching it so tight, but yet it didn't. It break didn't or break. Or yeah, and it's very very old, so it should have broken. Right. Can we try and break it? Like, I follow. I don't think that's such a good. I mean, we can try and shoot it. Yeah. That's always worked for me. You can shoot it in the car. No. <laughs> <laughs> would be the first time a gun's been shot from your car. Yeah. No, <laughs> no it won't be the last. <laughs> I, I get the sense that it's going to take more than mere weapons to... Now do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is this volcano. <laughs> um, no, so I go on and say, well, you know, at least let's go ask Piercy. He's always been good. He'll uh, tell us... Nigel? Nigel. Yeah, Nigel. 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 Yeah. Nigel. Piercy. Oh, Piercy. You're dead. Piercy. Shut up. <laughs> All right, so you're going to head... <laughs> yeah, Nigel. <laughs> Nigel will help us. We drive up to the li library. And he's okay, just so the library out. is um is you can see that the sign is closing and they've got a few cleaners in there. Right. And yeah, the doors are all locked up, but the lights are still on, so it looks like they've just closed up. Yeah. It's your friend. Um. Yeah. The a cleaner looks over at you and waves and then goes back to cleaning. <clears throat> Then I get polo. <laughs> I uh, do do do. I, I pull out my thirty-two and I tap it on the glass like this. Okay. Yeah, that does it. Yeah. So he comes. He his hands go up. And his way. hands are up. Okay. Yeah. I the door. Open the door. <laughs> he looks around at the exit. I got like this. I get my wallet out and I'll flip it open. Okay. Cool. All right. Let me get you make a bluff roll. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, bluff, 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 bluff. Stu. Bluff. What is my bluff? Sorry. 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 Uh, charm or... Charm. Charm is bluff. There's a persuade as well. You have that. 51. So probably not because I haven't written it down yet. Uh, yeah, he, he he's just scared. And uh, looking for an exit. You put your gun away? Yeah. I... He bolts. Turn my right eye on. Uh, he trips over his cleaning <laughs> items on the way, <laughs> bolting up to the door. So I got this, I go, Polo, can you just let me in? And Polo just goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He opens the door. Yeah, it's not going to shut again securely again after this, but yes, it's right. open. Turns out it wasn't locked anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we go inside. Yeah. We try and find Nigel's office. Okay, so well, well you guys Tommy know where knows, Nigel's Tommy office is. Tommy knows Nigel's is, office. So well. it's um behind the main desk. Yeah, it's behind the main desk. There's a, a desk and then there's a door to the left with his name on it, and then you can go through there and there's his office. So it, it, he's sitting in his office still. He looks like he's just starting to put some uh books uh for, putting some books in order, and he's got his bag ready to go, and his coat is hanging over his chair. It looks like he's just about to get up and go. Right. And he looks in. Are you knock on the door? It's on the edge. I'm not standing at the door. It's closed, gentlemen. Please leave. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just thought you'd want to speak to a good friend. You're not a good friend. Professor Haley Smith sent us. You look safe at your eye. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> shut, 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 shut. I haven't opened it yet. Are you quite all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he... He takes a step back. No. So, as I was saying, um, we were speaking with <laughs> Professor Haley. Did you see? He the doesn't really, really <laughs> focus. He's just staring yeah. into your eyes. You saw the sun today, right? With the hole and the and the dark spot, right? We've been asked to um, how do we say, uh, investigate the matter. I pull so, out one of the photos from the observatory and I hand he slowly it to you. Haley moves his eyes <laughs> over. So, yeah, and, and Professor Haley. He sent us here. He said that you you'll be able to help. You, you know, because you're a friend at all. Professor Haley doesn't know 
what kinds of books you're after. So he obviously didn't send you here. I know. <laughs> Are you saying the, you know... Are you speaking of the hole in the sky? Yes. Yeah. We Let's just say it this way. We know how to fix the hole in the sky. We just might need to read a few books with old lazy eye here. The hole in the sky stretches back to the beginning. It slumbers. So, like what he said. <laughs> but let's just get it in English this time, okay? So, if you can get us the keys, or actually, you can just come with us. Come on, Nigel. You start walking up the stairs to the to the library part, the um, yeah. private library. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I'm like, otherwise, you know, we can get a uh, the old handy hole can open the door for us. <sighs> I didn't get my iPad. Come on! He slowly <laughs> reaches into his bag and pulls out an old key, and he walks over to the elevator and unlocks the elevator. Oh. And it's a new one since it got destroyed. Yeah, yeah, and they've repaired it since then. And he he takes you up to the to the top. Oh, you're coming with us! So glad to have you on the adventure, buddy. I would suggest, he says to you, mm -hmm. I would suggest that you keep an eye on your friend, and make sure he doesn't put any smudges on books that he shouldn't. I think my friend here has eyes enough for everybody. <laughs> what are you looking for exactly? Perhaps I can help in speeding you on your way. We we are we are looking for anything uh, of a cult or a. a well, welcome to the library. This entire thing. <laughs> okay, I um I close my eyes and try and recall the chanting that I've heard. I, I, want, I, want to, I want to describe the uh, the icon on the clay tablet. You're not going to show the clay tablet? I, I'll, I'll, I might leave that to look at later. This is the same tablet that you were looking for a few weeks ago. Yes. Uh, um, you were researching it last yeah. time. So I, I say um, at the same time, weirdly, has it been that long? Has it been? And the opposite. Oh, shoot. So, has it been so short? That doesn't feel right, does it? So brief. Has it been, brief, so, has brief. been so brief? Has, has it been so brief? Has it been so brief? Has it been so long? It has. Yeah. And then I look at Tommy. I was drunk. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> you died. That was pretty bad. The books you are after are still here. Good. Please show them to us now. He takes you over, in and you can you can see, yeah, there are there is a symbol on the the front of the eye, the eye of oh, Sayaga, really? and it seems to be uh, embossed into the leather cover. Nigel, could you just read that first chapter for us? Uh, I'm not going to read anything, gentlemen. <laughs> I try to read as little as I can of these books. I know roughly what is in most of them, and I don't wish to learn more. That must make you feel like a real failure as a librarian. And I would say I it makes me... Oh! And then I caress the eye on the book cover. What purpose do you want, do you seek from this book? Are you trying to stop something? Or quite the opposite? No. I look to you. We're in the business of stopping these things. Now, Nigel, I, I understand that you don't want any more truth in your head because that's He's uncomfortable. Because my sand roll is only 20. My lady's <laughs> like... <laughs> 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 Your eye gave me a minus four to my. <laughs> I'm now on sixty. Yeah. <laughs> it's really not good. So uh, you can leave this to us now. Thanks very much. You've been enough. Let's leave it to the big boys now, Nigel. You can go home. He walks at me. as you say. He walks. Around. There's no need to insult. Bye, me. Nigel. There's no need to insult. I just called him a bad librarian. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say. I went. I went. I went low blow straight up. All right, I'm going to take out. What have you ever done? <laughs> He just wanted to be nice. <laughs> oh, he hasn't wanted to be nice. No, he didn't he like Tommy from the first moment. Either. Yeah. But can you really play him? Okay, so... So I'm going to take out the eye. Um, I'm still not touching it. And I just want to have a look at it and compare it to the one on the book. How similar are they? Uh, similar iconography, but not exactly the same. Okay. So it looks like a lot of it is subjective in, in that it's had an artistic interpretation of a, of a symbol rather <laughs> One of so the guys to the It player. wasn't like a photograph and they've replicated it. It's definitely been something that has either been passed on through with a mouth or, uh -huh. or something like that. Tell me if I can or can't. I'm going to open the book. I'm going to take my green eye out to read the book. 
No. Okay. No, you can't take your eye out. It okay. is now stuck in there. Oh. Yeah. But I, can I can I look like look like I thought I could? Yeah. So you start rummaging into your eye, and blood starts to trickle uh, down from the edges. Uh... <laughs> can I ask one quick question? <laughs> I don't know what's more disturbing, the fact that he tried or the fact that he yeah. couldn't do it. I don't know. When he put the necklace in, oh, the like, green what? emerald went in. What happened to the chain that held him? Did that flow into him as well? The chain or? was the yeah. chain was really nothing. It was just yeah. something you guys added on. It was always about the item. Yeah. The the book itself, are you gonna scan it? Yeah, yeah, I've got some library use. Yeah. Can I use library use? I got good library use. Oh I got forty five. I got no, I got seventy or something. I like that. Never respected Nigel, the newest and best meme. Oh, <laughs> Poor Nigel. Uh, 71. Can you imagine no. how many people like you guys he gets in every day? <laughs> no, not at all. Oh. Very close to a critical failure, but not quite. Well, I got a letter. <laughs> yeah, your eyes are kind of covered in blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's a blood little hard to kind of read it. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying really to make my ruby emerald yeah. with my blood. I, I got 11, so... Oh, that's um, good. There I are... find the port. Okay, you guys, yeah, there is port in the side. That also, I'm feeding my eye with my blood. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> okay, the sooner we kill off this character again, they are like, <laughs> again. So, yeah, uh, yeah uh, it takes, I mean, the, the hours start to tick by. Right. The moon passes across the, the whole. Oh. You, you do see, you see the whole appear again. Uh, this time it seems slightly more defined. Okay. Um, there are wisps around it, like smoke. Around the edges of it, oh. like a fuzzy edge, not a clean edge. Like no, edge. like tentacles. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, but as you as you read it into the night, because these kind of books you just can't just pick up and have a quick browse. They're they're textbooks written by mad people. They're like incantations and spells, and and they're not necessarily written in in, in order. Sometimes they jump around and and written by different people. So it, you you read into this, and, and uh, as the hours tick by, you start to get an idea on just what it is that you're dealing with here. The the Sayaga is this is um, they use the words um, they they use like a words like that, an alien abomination, um, the a great old one. Is it a great old one? They use words like great old one. And they talk about these the the um the the worship that have has been going on for centuries and you know since mm-hmm. since civilization first started and they talk about the idea of when the stars are right that he he will be brought into the world and we will all worship him and is, is the seven there... seals that that have been created. Um, in order to allow him to to step through when the stars are right, and um, yeah, right. Is there a, a mention of the incantation or the chant and, and how to do it, how to perform it? There, there is. <laughs> what are you guys trying to do? There, there, <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the incantation, the actual chant, is not a spell so much as it is. It's um. It's just a, a phrase that they that they repeat in the sense of the worshipful phrase that they use. Right. Um, they do talk about the place in the dreamscape, the place to go where he slumbers, and the the place of the seven seals. In and he talks about using similar words to mm. what Percy used. The blackness and, and the loneliness yeah. and yeah. evading it. Okay. And they talk about the idea that of um of this of the dreamscape becoming the world that the eye will open and all will be part of the dreamscape. That the world will be flooded with the with the eye, essentially. That it cool. will truly open. Up. So I can't drop all my you, you picture of that. you picture the the whole actually being like the first part of the eye opening and that it will open fully covering the world and I, kind of I madness. conjure up my, my, my memories of the of the dreamscape. Yeah. And I touch both of them to try and give them that sense of what it looked like. And and they, they already and, have experience. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But to, to remind them. Yeah. I don't want to roll really sad. Yeah. And then to go, and then to, and <laughs> stop then to, touching us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then to say, to say to them, that can't happen. Should we take a break? And you're like, yes, it can't happen. Stop doing it. <laughs> <laughs> we get it. Are we, are we at the time? We are. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll, we'll, we'll have a quick oh. break and we'll, um, yeah, that's a good moment to finish on. Absolutely. Ready? Everybody freeze frame for the end. Three, two, one.
Wow, okay. Is that okay. our pose? And we're back. I was about to say, it'd be funny, it looks like we've frozen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just like, three, two, one. Ding. And we're back. And then we hold it for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So, uh, where we left off is that you've had a little bit of an understanding of yeah. the situation. Do you want to recap so your, your brains know a little bit? Do you want to um, think about what you guys know? Thanks for the host, Forge Mark. Oh, we get hosted. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Exactly. And that Stoney is wondering at the what moment what the first Stormers adventure is, um, that I watched. Oh, sweet. Thank really you. Thank you. Wondering? That's really lovely. Wondering at the moment what the first Stormers adventure was that I watched. Right. Yeah. Tell mm. us if you remember. That's cool. Yeah. The very first one we put on YouTube was the Star Wars one, wasn't it? Mm. Yep. Yeah. And then followed by Carrying Crown. Yes. And by the way, we, we're gonna, oh, at the end of this one, we're going to be doing questions and answers. So if you have any questions about the campaign, have a think about it so that we can ask them at the end. When Murray, who is hosting this chat, asks you for them. Um, so Murray, what, you? what you guys have, have can, I, can I do a bit of a summary, maybe? Mm -hmm. That might yep, help yep, you. Yep. So things that things that you... You're really lost, in, and I think you're... I, really I don't know what I'm doing. No, uh, so some of the things you've learned from the book, is this idea that oh the sag or worship across the centuries yeah and this idea of seven seals which um which essentially unlock or awaken um Saega, Cthulhu, Saega, um, when the stars are right so this so Saega is dead until until he wakes and we we we're in possession of one of the seven and seals and you're in possession you've actually been in possession of two of the seals one of them has been broken which one you of them broke Murray. Well, one of them was broken, yeah, which one, is what... One of them was broken, yeah. and then... And now you have a, another one. Five more. And Murray, there was some, some information which you mm -hmm. may remember from your time was that the others are also all broken. Yeah, I told them about the plinths. Yeah. Um, so this is the only six, one in history one. that yeah. is intact. And you need a seal to be able to awaken Sayaga. There isn't mention of how many seals you need in order to awaken Sayaga. It could just be one. How... Um, how how did the others get destroyed? I destroyed five of them and then killed the creatures. The uh, you've destroyed one of them. Yeah, but there were but no, there were don't... multiple. Yeah, yeah, but seals. this that is oh, okay. this is um sorry, th this is one seal that um that statue that you had the right. idea that it, um when you wore the statue you could be um invisible to the eyes oh, of Sayaga. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, so oh, okay. uh, but these seals it looks like have even more importance than they did originally. Right. Because the adventure, we did another adventure, and so <laughs> um, it looks like they've been destroyed. But by whom, you're not sure. But but there was a Roman legion there who just t tried to destroy one. So you can mm -hmm. imagine that perhaps throughout time, they've been uh, destroyed, and that you were a part of that history. Okay, cool. I like I like the it's, <laughs> it's like the Hobbit where it was an invisible ring, and then the Lord of the Rings it came. Oh. It was so much bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You guys just didn't know it. Yeah, I, yeah, it yeah. was all up here. Yeah. Like, so, hold, hold. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm like Tolkien, really. Yeah. 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 yeah, totally. So, yeah, you're in possession of one. It, the, the book talks about the idea that um, that these seals uh, will last an eternity. And so, and yet, Murray was able to break one. Mm. Mm. Can you break into this one? Try it. the same. You, you just smashed it on the ground, didn't you? I smashed it on the ground, but I... Because um, there was the, the amulet, and what would the other... What was what was in the in the tomb? Was the... Yeah, the they were vegetables. they were about they were about the thirst of Saega. So mm. it looks like they were more about the um about the underlings. Right. So mm. we need to find more of those if we can. Um, the the room that you went to didn't exist except without the seal to That's open right. it. Mm. So when you went back there, there wouldn't have really been no, any way to it. Mm. access it. Mm. Or so, yeah. There's a comment going a bit of a comment going on about your Boffin accent. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it's apparently well died. <laughs> well, apparently you you got a film about you coming out, Rogue One. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm so I cannot it. wait to see what the Bothans are no, going to be Bothans, like. The Bothans died on the second Death Star, not the first. No, no they died on the first one. Died. Yeah, yeah, to get the, to get to the plans for the first Death Star. Yeah. Yeah. If, there's no, if there's no Bothans in that film, uh, it'd be like... I think like... you're saying that it was the first Death Star. <laughs> Don't mess with me! I'm going to comment on Reddit. No, so... 
<laughs> was it the first or second star? What? First or second Death Star? I think. What? I thought it was the second, and everybody Mary just. Poppins died. It's no, because no, it's... because it's her that says yeah, it, yeah, and yeah. she's in Jedi, mm-hmm. not the first. Hmm. What? Yeah. She's she's in yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so, Mon Mothma. Yeah, Mon yeah. Mothma is in the is in Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Oh, you're embarrassing yourself. Oh, oh my god, it's so oh, bad. I can't believe I, I can't oh. believe I role play with this guy. Nerd rage, oh. nerd rage. Oh, thank god. god, we're not playing Star Wars right now. Can oh. I can I change the subject? The Ooh. art in this book is just yes, astonishing. Okay. It looks beautiful. Mm. Do you know what? So this was actually one of the reasons I didn't oh. want to get the latest edition because I loved the black and white feel of the right. fifth well, and that, but having looked at it, but I then the third, I really the third like edition it. had those lovely plates too. They did. They were they yeah. were really beautiful. I love it how it has the tags. Poppins was second. Plus a comic book in it too. There's so, a comic book in Poppins were the second. <gasps> what? Somebody agreed with me. Stony. Yeah. They died for the codes. They did die for the codes, but it was second, the second Death Star. Death Star. Yeah. What? No. 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 It's a trap. It's a but he, he died. He doesn't oh, say that. I believe he died. Yeah, no, the actor died. Okay, we are anyway, totally sorry. off track. Boom, boom, off track. We were we were recapping. Yeah. So, Saiga. The the statue was only destroyed when it was within the space or the realm where um the first of Saiga was. Um, that was Wait. where that was where Murray destroyed the first seal. It was in the the room. It was in the room, and that room doesn't exist. Um without the seal. So without stepping into that there was there was nothing there. Oh. So okay. So I'm not sure you want to do that, but no, I think... no, no. Well I think you guys went back there after yeah. I died and you found that the whole thing was gone. Yeah. But that but that was if if it feels like each one of these statues has its corresponding like the Roman time had or is it like one location on the one location that because every time these have been destroyed in the history have they gone to this one spot, or is it that every single statue has its own? Well, there's no mention of that in the book mm. that Derek's been able to see. Mm. So he mm. there's no mention of the destruction of them. Mostly probably because this book is actually written by someone who is quite pro Very, Sayaga, yeah. mm-hmm. and so the mention of a destruction of something was probably not is something any, they wanted there any, to mention. Is there any mention of the opposite? So we. You know, when the stars are aligned and there's the, the the darkness, is there any sense of what the opposite and what anathema to Saiga is, as in things to avoid? Uh, there is no anathema to Saiga. So there is no there's no great enemy of Saiga um, mentioned in the book, except for maybe you. Uh, there, there is mention, yeah, of the idea. Green eyed god. There, there is mention of the. Oh, I like that name. The shadow that that falls that falls on us, and the idea of realms opening up under our feet, mm-hmm. and things like that. Okay. Um, there's, but there's no mention of like a great enemy will rise up against Aega and bring him down or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're like, yes, Aega is awesome. Did it? Did it talk about? I'm going to ask these guys. Did it talk about, like, the timeline on Sayega? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you do these three steps and then you'll, you'll see a hole or you, in the sky or the sun will go black. Or... Um, there's just, there's mention that, they, that uh, yeah, that his, that his shadow will fall and that that will be the sign of the stars aligning and that the time will come when a seal shall be placed and, um, and he, shall, he shall appear. And does, do they need the statue for him to and appear? That, sorry? Yes, that's the seal that shall be placed in order to be able to bring him into this world and that all across the across time shall worship Sayaga. So it seems to extend across time. No, so when, the, when the it statue says, needs to be placed. By the way, chat, if there's any questions you want to ask as a character, feel free to throw Ooh, them out there um, and I will try and answer Dark them. Silver one, one, Dark Silver 127 has said this is the most complicated game I have ever heard of except Divorce Court. Um, I hope that's so. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. That's the new game we're launching, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quite, yeah. yeah. This is actually funny that you'd have. Because we love we love playing female PCs and NPCs. So <laughs> yeah. cool. yeah. it's gonna be great. Yeah. Yeah. I apologize. This is um. This is kind of Call of Cthulhu. Oh, okay. Is the is trying to piece together clues. But if there's anyone in chat who wants to ask a question as if they're a player, feel free to throw them out mm. there, and I will I will um try to answer it. Second one. So the 
the Star Wars Wikipedia says no. Oh, what? Oh, oh we got hey, Star Wars Wikipedia oh, disagreement with the second. Hey, yeah. guys, I need you to back me up again. It is um, the second movie. Not many the... Bothan spies died to bring us this information. Bothan spies acquired top No, hang on, hang on. For the first, for the first Death, Death Star. Star. Oh, we oh, just started oh, the film. Well, you've just killed there's us. There's a, um, We're all a thing over there, so it's, not the, it's, it's just not the same quote. Well, yeah. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Mm. Ellipses. <laughs> anyway. But the Don't what, put it all right, in a quote with Wikipedia. all Wikipedia. <laughs> Um, okay, cool. So, <laughs> do you have these problems in your games? Uh, <laughs> um, I, um, I, my, what I'm curious about is, you know, they, they keep talking about the stars aligning. Yeah. Mm. Is that an actual alignment of the stars, mm. or is that just some portents that are that are circumstances that are aligning? Yeah, I yeah. think I think they probably didn't know the difference. So there's no they wrote it. There's there's yeah. no talk of an enemy. There is no talk of an enemy of Sayaga. Okay. No, there's an enemy. In fact, in in Call Cthulhu, the seventh edition, they they actually cut out a war in the heavens. They there was a war in the heavens between the elder gods and the great old ones. And then the other gods trap the great old right. ones and lock them up, which is why Cthulhu is mm. in Relay under the sea and slumbers dead until the stars align and his and Relay rises to the surface. Yeah. So um, they cut that out. So I'm actually deliberately saying from the seventh edition yeah, that, yeah. that there isn't wow. any okay. great enemy. Could I call upon my is this proof that Cthulhu, you <laughs> my my Cthulhu mythos knowledge and experience with the the darkness to, to try and you can make a cthulhu mythos roll yeah, yeah definitely i'll make a cthulhu wow. mythos roll with my newly acquired cthulhu mythos because you is crazy right I, well I'm, well no technically not i'm i'm just uh, no eccentric gotta do well <gasps> no. oh I sort of the other way around yeah it was close so i mean things that you know is that uh is that these things that seem to be able to last through the ages so within this earth, it seems like they uh, they can withstand time and the, the wear and tear of time and entropy. Ooh. And so Murray was able to destroy on within a realm outside of that. Oh. So we need to find somewhere that's not of this earth. Possibly. Where was where was Marcus found? That's true. Maybe he, he was found in another sinkhole. Yeah. They pulled him out of another oil oil. It, and he couldn't destroy it. But he couldn't destroy it in there because he was in there clutching it the yeah. entire yeah, time. Right. So we need to find. Let's go to the museum. We're in the museum. No, the um, library. Or the library. We're in the library. Let's go to the museum where they, the hole in the wall was where Murray died and see if that's still active. Oh, see so if we can open a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so you, you head on down to the museum. Now, the museum, the last couple of weeks, because it's only been a few weeks, is still undergoing repairs. So the wall, so long. The wall that you, um, that you um, placed it into, well, you get to the library. It's, it's like probably at three in the morning now. Mm. So it's completely closed. But you yeah. happen to know the, um, the security guard, don't you? Yes. Yeah. What was his name? I don't oh think I even God. wrote his name down. Or maybe I did. We have a name, Didn't please. For our security I don't actually guard. have his name. A security guard. You do? You don't. I don't. No. We'll need to rename him. Was it Andrew? I have everyone else's names. It's not Could his. be Andrew. But Is we might get a new name for the security guard at... Oh. <laughs> Lee. Frederico. Um, but I walk up and I go, hey, hey. how's it going? Yeah, the security guard, Um, you, you knock on the door or something. Is there a name? Um, no, no, I think he was naming the, the god that would be Saega. Security enemy, which mixed is security. Which should be hilarious if the security guard was named <laughs> can, I get, can, the, the, can, the, can the security <laughs> guard be named Agabor? Or Ag... Ag Aggie. 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 Archibald. 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 Yeah, Archie. Archie. We were close. Guy. Thank you, Denny. Archie. Okay, so, yeah, he, you knock on the glass and, and Archie's little security desk is at the front anyway and he, he looks over and looks through the glass and, and gives you a wave and he <laughs> goes over and opens up the door and he goes, oh, hey, Mr. Cavarotti, oh, what can I do for you this late at night? Oh, well, look, we just came back because we, we've had such a strange day, haven't you? You know, did you see the hole in the moon? I've been inside the entire time. Oh, wow. I'm well, on my shift. But, well, uh, come with me. Let's go back inside and I'll tell you all about it. All right. Yeah, okay, then, come oh, who, who's you? Oh, I know you. I know you. You are Mr. S Professor Spock. That's me. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and this is our friend here. 
Introduce yourself. Hey, Chuck. He's forgotten. How you doing? Hey, he shakes your hand. Oh, good, good to meet you. Yeah, cool. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I got something in my eye. Yeah, you had a yeah, missing eye. I yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, by the way, you've got a patch if you want it. The nurse brings you. Oh, one. did she bring me a patch? Yeah, oh, well, I should say it. that she went and she got, got you one. one. Okay. okay. But it's like a white... A white oh, patch. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Like an injury patch. Yeah, 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 no. So if you want to wear it, you no. can. A little bit of sticky tape. Sticky tape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I, it's very cold out here. Do you mind if we talk inside? Yeah, come on in. Things have been settled down pretty well around here for the last couple of weeks. Because it was crazy for a while, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it was. It was absolutely crazy. Yeah, how, we had everyone around here and gunfire. And how, how are you going? Yeah. Are you going well? Good. Kids are good. How's yeah, the, family's yeah, good. How's family's the repairs? Good. Repairs are coming along, really. Uh, we've been repairing up on the east wing. It's looking oh, good. Have a look? uh, in the back of the car, oh. I bring out just a little warm, just to warm his mouth. Just yeah, like a, a forty-year-old bottle of scotch. It's just yeah. a nice, got, a got, nice got, bottle of bourbon. Wow. He, the he, got, he, got, he got, he got, tipped five bucks last time. Yeah, time, yeah. So yeah. Well, geez, he got the up the end. Yes, really generous of <laughs> you. Well, look, you know, I'll I, open it at Christmas time. You know, make. I just want to make sure that you're looked after. You know, I appreciate some people it. just they they walk past you, they don't even recognize you, they don't ask you how your family is. Like, who are these people? <sighs> you know, you're right. People these days. No manners. You know, oh, I appreciate you, Mr. Cavarotti. You know what we should do? We should get a few... I just realised I don't have a last name, which scares me a lot. But you know last what? Name. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> if he dies, he can't die with a last name. You can't no, kill a person no, with a surname. He doesn't have a last name, kill but kill he has a family. He has a family. Kill a I'm trying to build up the family. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no. so, Why? Children. Yeah. You know what we're going to do? You guys should get together, band up, you know, defend your rights as a group. Yeah. You know? So, because you don't want the boss man telling you what to do, how much you like get Like a union paid. is what you're talking about, yeah? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, you got it right, Mr. Cabaret. Yeah. You got it right. You okay. got this, man. He's, he knows everything. We, we just wanted to look around make sure everything was up to safety standards. Is that okay? Because <laughs> I didn't want to have any of my friends here being hurt. So yeah. we're just going to have a look around, all right? You got it, Mr. Cabaret. Thank you, you. You take it easy around there. Hey, he hands you a torch. You Thank you. The, uh, Thank you yeah. so much. But you guys know where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't, happen, yeah right. you wouldn't happen to have another spare torch just for my friends here. For you, Mr. Cavarotti, anything. <laughs> he goes past, adjusts the photo of his wife's picture. And then <laughs> he's, <laughs> cool, cool. he's so going to die. Uh, like, um, still be drunk. We, we, have, we have a request that uh, what if Nigel has some of, has, is the one who has summoned the eldritch being to rid the world of people like Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> he and would Ziggy, do that. Ziggy has said Nigel is actually Cthulhu biding his time. Yeah. <laughs> when and, the then, stars and then there's, are a response, right. there's a response of shh, don't get the game away from Tony. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Damn, you seen my notes on Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Nathan's character is going to get shot. Yeah, that's going to happen. Like, <laughs> I, I know this, but you know, you got to go. If you've got a character, you've got to stick to character. That's it. <laughs> All right, you head over to the East Wing, and uh, yeah, Sorry, they, um, yeah. I to, I'll explain what is. We're not in the library. No, you're right. No, so this, the is the museum. 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 Okay. this is the This is the Miskatonic Museum. So, yep. and it you, is... you've watched the video. I have. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is where yeah, okay. this is. This is I'm, I'm, I'm beginning oh, yeah. to feel a little bit queasy all, as I wander down right the halls now. of my my demise. You see a little pile of dust on the ground. You have a moment where you get scared that it's your body that bond. I bond with the dust. You seem lying down in it. Yeah, we go along and find where your dust was. There's still a little bit left. You look down, you're like, <laughs> put the finger oh. back on. Yeah, uh, yeah the, this area has been uh, renovated quite a lot quickly and very quickly because mm. uh, it looks like this area, they, they wanted to fix it all up through yeah. here. And so there is a lovely new fresh plaster has been placed over the wall where, where the seal was and it's been freshly painted and it looks really nice. Why do you make us go? You got, you got the seal, Chuck. Yeah. All right, so right, the, seal. Um, in the previous time you did it, uh, the wall had been stripped back and exposed to the original foundations of the of the original walls. Oh, dear. Mm. And so, yeah. It's, it's... Are, there any, are there any tools lying around? Are there any... Oh, I'll make a luck roll. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, let's see. I want to make a rock roll too. What? A rock roll? A I rock like this. Roll. Ash to ash, dust yeah. to dust. I make, I make my luck roll. Percy. <laughs> Percy, Percy. Percy. <laughs> Yeah, you, you made, you made yeah, it. Yeah, I make my luck roll. Derek, did you? Uh, I don't know what the luck roll is. Where is the luck? Oh, here. 78. No, Ooh, I do not. I missed by 16? I think you made one. Yeah. So you find maybe a sledgehammer on a 16. Mm. Uh, you find a chisel and a hammer. Mm. Do mm. I find a, um, a polo? Yeah, there's polo eggs there. Yeah, yeah. So he just goes... <laughs> <laughs> I look at the um I look at the, the plaster with my green eye. Oh yeah, can you see through? Yeah, you hear you hear chanting. Um as if it's coming through the wall. I chant back. Ooh. 
Can I... Just to make my point... Well, yeah, I was going to say, that probably really only affects these two. Yeah. So, um, I like I, this whole, like... Open the, open the thing and, and hold the icon. The yep. You hold, you hold it up yeah. um, after you chisel away, is that right? No, or no, you're no gonna I'm hold, just, yeah? oh, just wanted to I'm touch not. it and look at the wall or, you know, maybe anything happened. No? Okay, so you're, you're holding it up and... Um, mm -hmm. You need to fix the camera for one second because it's just a little bit off. Keep talking. I, I, I hand you my chisel. And okay. I, I bend down and grab some of the ash in the corner that somehow feels familiar, and I, I tamp it into my pipe. Oh my god, you're oh. a freak. Oh my god. Well, are you gonna... and, and then I smoke myself to rebond myself with me. Oh, snort yourself. Look at this. Yeah, no, that's so inappropriate, Derek. How dare you? How dare you? That is just yeah, hot. I'm going to snort myself back into me. No, I'm going to smoke myself back into me. Yeah, that's I mean, so that's much so better. much more fun. Yeah, I'm an archaeologist. I, don't know what I, was thinking. I mean, that's what I would do. Uh, yeah. Mm. All right. Ashes to ashes. Percy to Percy. So, so, an answer to your question, Stoney, yes. Percy to Percy. Okay, so uh, you hold it up, uh, Derek, and you catch a glint of uh, reflected moonlight from one of the windows. Oh. And as it reflects on it, um, you feel your feet sink slightly into the into the um, cement, the, the stonework, and the building itself shifts slightly on its foundations. Oh. Okay. There's a cracks start to appear along the way. I, I quickly fold it up and put yeah. it back in the it's, pocket. Uh, unfortunately, the process is slow, it started. Well, Just like it did the other place where you covered it up. Oh, it's not going to stop. But it seems to be slowly happening here. Because oh, remember, it would be from the ground do. itself. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so you've got a hammer, a sledgehammer. So you're going to start to yeah, 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 smash it? Okay. So, oh, no. And I'm, chant I'm chanting at the wall to try and see if I can get them to come through to us as well. Oh, the chanting yeah, increases. It's cool. like like a, a carrying... Like a, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, Polo is parking the car. I, I, no. Oh, good. That means I have to do all the work. Yeah, he's parking the car for you. I call out for... Um, he's he's like, a, like a long way away. Not yeah. Polo. No, the security guard. He's, he's okay. back at the desk. All right, yeah. I just go for it. Okay, you you smash into it. Excellent. Um, it doesn't take a lot of effort to break this it's wall. It's plaster, right? Like yeah. Uh, so you start smashing into it. The ground, you get the, the building itself starts to shake and tilt. Uh, the whole the, building. Yeah, yeah. As the foundations oh. of this building, if you picture it all turned into liquid, what yeah. would happen? The sinkhole. Yeah. This is start, starting to happen. You're madly smashing into this thing. Cracks are forming. Plaster is falling from the the roof and from the wall. And Archie. And you're holding a torch there yeah. at, at, at it, and yeah. This is like us setting up. No. <laughs> and you're puffing away, <laughs> going, hit harder. <laughs> the I, the I plaster get, chunk get, falls off. I get the feeling I've done my part in this bit <laughs> before. And yeah, you see, you see the um, uh, uh, the uh, spot where the where the, the first statue was placed when you first did it. Um, just as the building shifts again and, and a painting falls off the wall. Okay, um, I'm going to take the clay thing and put it in that spot. Okay, you place it into the into the spot, um, and as you do, it seems like the the momentum now that it's revealed is increased even further. And yes, our, our door starts to crack open in the plaster, um, in the same shape as last time. And can I can... can I grab the Hammer and chisel and yep. try and yeah, you can scrape away. That. Yeah, yeah, you scrape away and you get it pretty quickly. Okay. Um, yeah, the the uh, large section of the wing just crashes down. I just run and just push. Okay, you push it. Yeah, the door opens up and uh, uh, you. Archie's like, "What are you doing?" You stumble into the darkness inside. Yeah, and the door just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys do that. I'll stop to Nate. No. <laughs> what are you guys gonna do? Um, when the door swings and um, Nathan walks in, I'm going to walk in calmly with my green eye open only. Oh, okay. So what it, are you going to do? Does it illuminate? Is it glow in the dark green? Like, you know that green no, glow in the no. dark green? No. Oh, it's phosphorus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's luminous, but it's not. Doesn't It doesn't shine okay. at a light. So, so there's a, a recess in the door that yeah. I put the thing in? Yeah. So the door opens, so you can pull it out again, or you can keep it. Yeah. Pull it out, I'll, yeah. I'll and then out, you're going to... And I'm going to click on the... Torch, yeah, thing, and, and go inside and flashlight. Cool. You step in yeah, through the door. A giant chunk of rock just falls oh, down no, behind you. Nice. I love, I love this. Tommy stumbles into the darkness, and this darkness stumbles back. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's real grappling. <laughs> 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 
Jesus. All right, so chat, this is where we're moving into. This is uh, a dreamscape style thing. So if you have words that you want to describe what they're walking into, this is your moment to oh. really describe what you want oh, them to see. So Murray's got a torch out here. Uh, is it no? Or yeah, I've got, got a torch. Yeah, two yeah. torches. Two torches between us. Um, shining into the space. Have a think what you want this world, this realm, this thing to be. That they, for the yeah. Americans, we have flashlights. Is it different? Is it, is it different for oh, yeah. each it's, of us? No, no, the it'll be the scape? same. It'll be the same dreamscape, a shared dreamscape, because that'll just get too messed up if I okay. try and make right. it individual. Oh, because I was thinking I could just go back into my where my I was. No, I no, I think okay, just cool. for simplicity's sake, yep. yep. we'll keep it all free. Because we've already been told that this is divorce court. We don't want to take it to yep. you know like arbitration. Or anything. <laughs> I'm looking it. forward to finding out some words. It just can be like a word. It can be. It can be a quick sentence. It's up to you what you what you want to throw out there. So, or it could be things like wet, dream, or, or nightmare, or whatever you want. Or spiky tentacled. It could be. Um, no, no, let's not fill them with a, yeah. it. Could yeah. be, yeah. It could yeah. be. It could be flowers. It could, could be go beautiful. Money. Butterflies. Could be, yeah. Butterflies. It could be butterflies. Uh, like anything you want, throw it out there, and Vampire. I will eight and foot it. tall butterflies. Vampire butterflies. Yeah. With, yeah. When the, when the torch flames, yeah, when the torch flames look up, I think Forger, Forger didn't get your flashlight comment early yeah. enough. Uh, they continue ascending forever. Well, that could be my pipe. My pipe, oh. the flames from my pipe just burn upwards and don't actually stop. Oh, yeah. So, what, what, have we got any? any... Uh, Not when, yet. No. We've got, when the torch flames look up, they continue ascending forever rather than snuffing out. Can I look I at, like the, uh, at the icon and see if it's doing anything or is it? Uh, you you hold it in your hands yep. and uh, yeah it, it seems to take on a more realistic um, qualities to it. Um, the, is it if the clay um, the clay becomes more defined? Uh, you have a comment. Phoenix that hugs Nathan's face and a cold desert with no color. Ooh, oh, oh, I like no that. No color, yeah. A and desert a at night. A phoenix hugging my so the light is just phoenix hugging your face. Wow. So if the if the if, if we combine all of them the, the 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 oh wait I see spheric with no sound with wind sounds blue skies over a cold desert. Uh, okay, oh. I like blue skies. You, okay, so you step you step out into this um, as if the doors behind you just disappear, and you're holding you're yeah. holding this uh the statue in your hands. In front of you is a desert that seems to uh, shift like waves, oh. just gentle waves moving. And all light seems to be um, sucked from it. And so the, the air it's is not it... that it's black and white, but it is colourless. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems like you've forgotten what colour is. Sanity roll? So sanity roll. Can, can, can it also be like, there's, it looks like there's lots of space, but it's very oppressive? Yeah, yeah. The air itself it. seems to be claustrophobic, even though it's the cool. space I opens it. up around you. Oh, I've been just, here before. You know, damn, cold, oh, damn cold and musty. <laughs> Yeah. Damn cold and musty. Okay, I'm going to use those later. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I made it too. Eight. Eight, cool. Eight. Eight. You made it too? Yeah. All right. You, we're, well, all, we're all experienced in this kind of thing. <laughs> you, you kind of knew that you were going to walk into something yep. that was going to be quite shocking. And so in, in a surprising way, a desert is almost known. Mm -hmm. It's right. a known mm -hmm. entity. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it shifts, yes, it is disturbing, but at least it's an icon that you can hold on to. Yeah. There's yeah. a horizon. Yeah, yeah. Is there, is there any yeah. sense of where we should be heading? Is there like a... The, well, the, the sand, it's, it moves and shifts with mm -hmm. the waves, um, and the, the waves seem to, to rise up in areas and, um, and then create dips. But uh, off, off in, the, in the distance, there is an island. Fleeting of... shadows whip across our vision. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Fabus. Uh, in the sky above, a, an eye stares down at you. Like oh. a bee. Watches, and it seems, it seems to, to draw the colour out of the... When the eye of heaven stares at me, I stare back. Yeah, yeah. you have a yeah. you have a competition. The chanting that was, a, that was a cold that was a null count. The quote. chanting he begins says, to exactly the chanting begins to increase, and you can almost follow the sound of the chanting. It seems yeah. to be the only real sound in this place is the chanting. Yeah, it's that and lack of sound. You yeah, know, that kind of like we, and we put on. Yeah, you take so, a step onto the sand, and there is no sound of your. And there's vague silhouettes, okay. vague silhouettes that look like a person, but actually a giant creature that is extremely far away. Ooh, oh, I like that. So, elephantine kind of creatures mm. that silhouette against the sky, that um, that yeah. appear like sleeping mm. gods. Do we do we head towards the chanting? Um, yeah. That's where I'm heading. But do we actually move? 
Well, you, you do step forward and the sensation of movement is there. Um, however, it seems more to be in your mind than it does to be a physical movement. Mm. And it takes you a little bit to kind of get your, get around the idea that, that moving isn't just um, a physical act, but also a, a, a movement of the mind, of uh, mentally moving forward. And I move my mind forward quickly. Yep, the, the, the sand ripples up creating a pathway for you ahead in the direction you wish the, to go in. The dust, that, the dust that we blow up behind us I'm stops. Mer- I'm, yeah. mer- I'm yeah. Mercy Posey. I'm Moses Percy. Percy Moses. Yeah. Moses Percy. Um, he yeah. says that as he's running forward. I'm Moses yeah, yeah, yeah. Purpose, Purpose, Mercy, Mercy, Purpose. <laughs> <laughs> flame, flame just travelling up into the eternity from my pipe. Um, Murray, you... Myself. You notice, uh, you notice off to the side amongst the sand that that shifts, and in sometimes in the dip in the wave, you notice creatures similar to the thirst of Sayaga, this mm-hmm. uh, tree like tentacles, like roots like creature with uh, with an eye that seem to watch you and Derek. No, so you and um, and Tommy, mm-hmm. but not Derek. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can I? And the, the look on them as they watch is mm. almost like a feast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't notice it. No. I, s- I look back. Neither do you. Can I stare back with my green eyes? Step back. Stare back. With stare my back. Green. You can, yeah. yeah. I look behind They us. watch you mm-hmm. and meet your gaze. Right. I look Welcome be- home almost. <laughs> yeah. I look behind us and see me stumbling through a door. Yep. Yeah. Well, as if what like we're just ahead of what happened, like what is happening at the time so like i see me stumbling through a door and these two standing behind with the hold the door happening. hold the door no, no we, we, too we, soon sorry <laughs> don't worry oh you say that to the um yeah no spoiler <laughs> um i um i look back it's it's basically us coming through the door again and it's like a it keeps going back in terms of looking back in time nice. and looking forward i kind of see what could be me running forward and i run after it so but you see that you don't see him running. You don't see who he's running after. That you see him take off. Okay. Right. Um. I wanna. I wanna go towards the sounds. Yeah. Um. He's running towards the sound tank. Oh, yes. is he? Okay. Yeah. I. I need to. I need to find a weapon. I need to find something that will break this. This seal. You are the weapon. Is that good? Do you like that? I like that. Dog. <laughs> 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 Oh, and then you that really hurt. I am a weapon. Yeah. 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 You have the eye logo <laughs> on your whole board. It's the worst advice I've ever been given. Um, I pull out my gun and I look at the gun and I look at the at the uh, at the at the icon. Hey, you want to put it down on the ground and shoot it? I just don't think that's going to do it. I don't think we need a. a I don't think if we can use a weapon from outside, it has to be something from in here. Don't you think? I imagine a Tommy gun. You're running towards you, Ooh. and you know, and and you imagine a, a Tommy gun. I I look to see if the person in front of me now has a gun. Uh, no, the person in front of you doesn't have a gun, but you hear gunfire coming from behind you. Where are the where are the first creatures? They they seem to move within the waves, swimming right. swimming right. amongst not, the waves, watching you too. Yeah. They look like like a hunger. Yeah. But yeah, just like last time, mm-hmm. the person holding the mark doesn't seem to be able to be seen. Mm-hmm. as an invisible. Oh. But you, you may not know that. Yep. So you haven't okay. seen them yet, only, only yep. um, Percy's yep. seen them. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm running towards the sounds. Do you going to chase after Nathan? Yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know what your speeds are, your athletics, but um, you might catch up to um, Tommy. I don't know how... Mm-hmm. Oh, Tommy is... Uh, Tommy's quite fast. Uh, what is that? It's, strength? It's, it's got size. to do with your size and your strength. Yeah, well, I'm small. So, I'm, I'm yeah. small too. So I'm huge and reasonably strong. I, I don't think I can catch up to you. Okay. I'm, I'm 60, small I'm 60, weak. 80. You're 60, 40, 60, 60, so you can. I'm 55, so I'm, 55. You're smaller. I'm smaller. Right. Okay, you pass, you pass, um, the, it seems to be that the you sand, up, the sand yeah. keeps washing up. Uh, but the, the path goes deeper, so slowly the, the sand rises up around itself, becoming almost like going underwater through a, a water tunnel, uh, like an air tunnel of water. This is like sand that makes into a, a sand tunnel going deeper into oh, no. into the earth. Um, the echoes okay. become louder through there, and that's where you're running deeper, deeper down Following into, the, myself. into the sand. 
Um, I, I, the chuck, side, I chuckle to chuck. Off to the say. side, you see. Sorry, off to the side, you see um, the robes of a priest, um, half half torn and um, dust covered the covering the the robes, but that same ash dust How seems old to be around the clothing. It's just ash, ash mm. and clothes, and the clothes seem to be um, brand new in places and aging in others. I, I quip to Chuck that it's just like going over the top. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Run on. <laughs> I feel like that mustard gas is seeping into my eyes again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Um, well, the air is quite thick and oppressive here. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Okay. Well, into the breach we go mm. into the tunnel. So you go deeper into the tunnel, yep. holding, holding it. Mm. Once more into the breach, That's dear it. friends. Once more. <laughs> so. You're going deeper into into this tunnel. It, it has whole like tunnels leading off in all different directions. You see the tree that was at the cemetery, off to one side over here. Oh. Uh, another way, another place. There's like a park bench uh, over there that um, looks like it's from your time period. In other places, is, is that where they found the the religionaire? Yeah. Right. Ooh. So yeah, in a in a park over near there. The the name has a park a little um, brass. Um, sign on it dedicated to such and such at this time, written on it. Uh, further down, though, you see small like Roman pillars, and you see uh, an uh, Egyptian style hieroglyphs written in a block of a rock on the side. Whoa. Um, it's an interesting idea. <laughs> interesting idea. Uh, great old ones in that don't operate <laughs> like that. They're not bargainers. They they are too powerful and too alien to really logically yep. do this. However, the siren song of the chanting is starting to get into the your head. Siren? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, the chanting is the only sound in this space, mm. except for your own um, speaking. Even your even your steps don't seem to make noise in the space. So the chanting becomes all consuming. Mm -hmm. Now I really want to shoot the gun. Just see if it makes any noise. Mm, yeah, you yeah you almost you almost want to create noise. Yeah. You maybe even just speak or sing or. What happens if, um, if, I, if I reach out and try and grab the robes? Do they just you can you dust? pull them? I pull, you okay. pull and parts of it come out in your hands. Okay. Other parts just turn to dust. Is there a shawl like a you know the the the, the, the neck? Um, yeah, shawl? yeah. The whole thing is there in various states of decay I'm and put on the quality. decaying. The hey, best, the best the bits of the such decay. a freak. I love yeah. it. Yes, I I start He's to putting on ro priestly robes. Yeah. I start to sing. It's a long way to Tipperary. Yeah, just to, well, just to combat the. Over there, <laughs> right. over there. You, you start singing that, and then you notice that your singing turns into the chant. Oh, the chant! Oh, oh nice. I can't escape it. And deeper, you go deeper down into the place. Can yeah. I? I pass myself running. So the person I was running after actually goes past, and we both look at each other, and I mm. keep running. And as I look behind, he's now with me, going past the person behind me. Yeah, one person and yells out, "Come this way! It's the only way." And the other going, "Don't go that way! <laughs> it's a trap! It's a trap!" Can, can we still keep following the? the you can. The, the, it, it, it is the sound, the only sound in the place, and so following it, even yeah. though there's many yeah. different paths leading off, the creatures that that you know as the first of say Aegon mm -hmm. seem to come ever closer, shifting and swimming mm -hmm. through the sand off to the sides of the tunnels. Right. And obviously, you, you're not aware of it. You two aren't aware of that at all. Um, you're too focused on yourself, which is very Tommy. It is very much so. Yeah. Um, does Tommy have a Tommy gun? Tommy doesn't have a Tommy gun, no. Mm. No. I always carry But there was a sound I've of gunfire from behind you. Tommy yeah. gun? 30, I've got a 32 on me at all times, so. Yeah. Of course you do. I've got a chisel. <laughs> chisel. The, when we so, open the and a cigar. As, as, a, as you keep running along, you're not sure when it happened. But it happens that the sand doesn't be isn't sand any longer, and it, it becomes more wet and humid and more cave-like. Mm. And the environment well, I can, is. I can change the sound. In fact, we had a we had a quote of some of the adjectives that we used. Yeah, and, sorry, it was um. Damp, cold, and musty. Damp, cold, yeah, yeah, and yeah, musty. Yeah. Fleeting shadows whip across your vision. Yeah, uh, uh, the light source, which even the eye seems to create these shadows, even though mm. you are under the ground, or maybe you're not under the ground. Right. It's difficult to tell. The, your ears pop, and it could be that you're moving through different air pressures, but you're not sure if you're going down any further or whether this is actually going up towards the surface again. 
Um, but it feels like it, it keeps switching between which way we're actually running, but it's flat. And possibly you, the way that you're running is now on the side of the wall because up and down are no longer things that concepts that you can fully understand. Um, you throw up because your your inner ear is shifting so much that you're not sure which is up and which is down. And and I think a sanity roll is probably in order at this moment. Oh, I pass. Oh, yeah. I passed. Yeah, 13. 13. I did two. Oh, yeah. You, you yeah, managed yeah. to hold two. Take some yeah. breaths. Yeah. All right. And, yeah, no, and then you push on in. I, I, I call out to, to Chuck that they are coming. If you, if, yeah, if you want to know the, behind you, the yeah. passage seems to be filling with these. these so I, 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 I vomit and fall to my knees and lose control of the the eye and it skitters along the ground in front of me. The singing, the chanting grows just enormous as 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 it touches the ground. It echoes into your ears. It's okay. so loud. I fall as well. You, you can't do anything except just cover your ears for a moment and the eye and you notice that they yep. they've noticed. Um, I dive onto chuck. the um symbol mm -hmm. and I wrap it in the cowl that I'm wearing. Oh okay cool cool. Mm. Almost hoping that some kind of something, something, something thing might, yeah, might yeah, yeah, yeah. do something, <laughs> yeah. whatever will work. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. Um, Experimental well, ideology. Well, <laughs> the first of Sayaga no longer looks at you. Okay. They look only at these two, and they seem to grow hungrier, and um, as if yours, you weren't as tasty as they okay. hoped. But, um, I'm going to tell these two to get up and run, okay. and then I'm going to turn on the first. And I'm going to call out to them to, to look at me and open my green eye and stare them down. They don't even they notice you even look at them. And they move, you they move straight through them as if they were ghosts. Oh. So remember, the only way that they yeah. were ever in the yeah, world was if they yep, yep, were yep. drawing life mm. force. Uh, as you as you two see further in the passage that there are people now bowing down it? along we... the edges of it. And they, they are bowing down here, but then on the roof up there and then on the sides here. And yeah. Some are facing the opposite direction, but it's also the correct way to face. Yeah. And others are lying flat, looking up, and it just has this complete inception-ish like feel to it of not knowing where. I'm, um, and we're running, but running like this. And yeah, and maybe maybe you're just running on the spot, or maybe you're running yeah. backwards, but you could be going forwards. You don't know what. <laughs> yeah, I have you, I have a hallucination that where the first star is uh, an A7 German tank from from 1918, and when Chuck <laughs> and I were in the trenches, so I'm. Basically chasing up, you know, this this monster tank, eighteen man tank, huge thing, um, and I'm yeah, essentially trying to attack it with nothing. I've got a, a pipe <laughs> and a symbol and a chisel. Um, well, a chisel, and and you destroy it. You absolutely destroy it, as if your hands were able to yeah. shape clay, yeah. and it just falls to pieces. All right. Mm. And I, you see his hands are just broken. And he's so, he looks so proud of himself that he's destroyed this thing. But his hands are just, for some reason, smashing it's something invisible. And, and the blood is running down his hands. He's just holding have, it up in the air. And does, the blood have, does the blood have any effect on the eye? Uh, no, 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 it's not. I, can I pick up the sledgehammer that we found outside? Mm -hmm. Can I bring yeah. that to bear and rush over to him and... Yeah, you rush, you rush towards him to smash, yeah. to smash it, to and smash the the eye. Yeah, you run towards towards him to smash it, and you're standing there, the three of you, um, in a gigantic cavern, and in rippling circles are worshippers all standing around, um, six seals broken on the ground, and a space for a seventh. As you run in, suddenly you're in a giant cavern. Hang on, six broken seals. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Yep, that's right. This is the last one. And the chanting just stops as you run towards it, and all faces from all times just cry out. All no. faces from all time. Oh, nice. That, no, no pressure, Derek. Yeah, <laughs> Chuck. This is just the entire history of the world. They saying... they scream out to you, and their hands reaching out to stop you. Place the seal. Is there a, is there a nice solid surface that I can? There's oh, a there's spot a, for the seal a, right the there. <laughs> It's built for it. <laughs> I put my oh, right, no. my left hand on top of the place for the seal, and then I put my seal like, like that, like yep, that yep, yep. and then the seal on top of my hand. Yes, and then, I look, at, and then I look at Derek, and I basically <sighs> urge him to do it anyway. 
it's yeah if you bring the hammer down and it smashes the seal and you just see the cabin turn to sand and just people just turn to sand and, and the whole world starts starts disintegrating all around you and your hand it's just you're in incredible amounts of pain as the shards break yep. through your your hands and yeah you bring the, the hammer up and it's broken that the seal is shattered and the eye above slowly starts to close oh, i but raise, the whole world is just disintegrating around you i raise my lift fist with the shards of the of the symbol in it and i shake my fist at the eye in the sky it's the last thing it sees. It it focuses on you as if you were the only person in existence for that one moment. A god, a great, a great old one, stops looking at at eternity mm. and stares at you. And um, yep. the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with a like a minus one hundred. Mm. All right. Yeah, zero five. Five. Right. <laughs> five. And you give a middle <laughs> finger to that. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And, I, and my green eye glints back. He stared in the face of a god and told him that. Yeah. And there's no boy. <laughs> you know what? The world's disintegrating around you. Do you know what would be really cool? What are you going to do? He just goes like this, you look up, and then a symbol starts getting drawn uh, on your green eye. Oh. And so I, it just embodied. I, just... I quote, I quote, Noel Coward, right, period. I have only ever cared for the eye of heaven when I wink back. <sighs> Around you, black <laughs> around you, black pools start to appear as the eye weeps, and oh. um, shadowy pools appear. Does oh, my you. green eye weep too? Oh, oh the, yeah, blood, tear of blood. Oh, yeah. Oh. So this is oil. This is the oil, oily, stuff? oily liquid. There are pools of it everywhere. We, I, we, can I? Can we, gotta I go, we gotta go look for the pool that will take us back to. Yeah, I see. I look around and I see myself standing at one of the pools. Yeah, you see yourself standing at every pool. And then just all of them going through, and then some of them jumping in, and some of them falling over, and some of them don't even jump in. Some of them cower and hide. You see yourself blubbering in a corner. Others raging at the eye as it's closing. You see others murdering your friends, and others pleading to them to save you. And that's all happening simultaneously as the world falls apart around you. What are you going to do? Can, can we can we try and go back to the area where we were, where we saw the... There is no back. I know. Is, I is there's no back? I scream out in my most um, uh, commanding authoritas words I can find with you know, my newfound hubris. <laughs> um, <laughs> because the last lot failed. Um, I, yeah, I call out to all of these followers to stop. Stop what you are doing. Well, they're, they're disintegrating. Are they? they turn into sand, so they're just... Everything They're turning into apart. the pools. I think we yeah. just need to. I don't think we need to jump into a pool. Are you going to jump into a pool? Let's choose a pool. One pool each, or no, 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 no we're all going to get together. Do this good together. party. Yeah. yeah, I reckon. I put, I put my, I put my good hand in the middle. I go like this. On top. I. <laughs> boom! <laughs> let's do it. You leap. leap into one of the pools. Now we have, <laughs> we have a question for the chat. Oh. This is your chance to dramatically change where they land. You have any time period nice. you want to set this in and uh, or a location uh, in the past, How from this time, not into the future. Yep. So from the 1920s to earlier, and there was mention of um, Hadrian's Wall, is it? Yeah, we have we have uh, Roman Cthulhu was set on Hadrian's Wall at the fall of the Roman mm -hmm. Britain, so 410 AD. Uh, we've also done a couple of Cthulhu monks set in the 12th century. Um, so there is a chance yeah. to bring these guys out. Whether they'll come in with the same, uh, the same person, not personality, but uh, occupations and everything that they that they let through is up to you. You know, we'll we'll work that out. But you come up with what you'd like, what time period, yep, and maybe what country you'd like them to appear in. How about Tommy's house in the 1920s? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a scotch in your oh, hand. Oh, yeah. Just a thought, you know. Yeah, that's the image going in your head yeah. while you're on the rack. <gasps> um, the mountains of Tibet in an abandoned monastery. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Uh, like an that. Aztec pyramid. Oh, 1942 uh, Germany. That's jumping oh. Would, we could do Aptun Cthulhu. Oh, Aptun Cthulhu. That would be pretty cool. Oh, we'd be pretty messed up though because we'd have 
jumped forward 20 years and we wouldn't have any idea of what's going on. I would allow it because oh, it's possible. No, I would, I would allow. Of course, the people. I would allow Germany at <laughs> you know, that time um, because I think maybe what we'll do is we'll modify the characters. They won't necessarily come back as, hey, we've traveled in time, mm. but maybe they've come in as a personality of their own in that time period. Yeah. Yep. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. We yeah, haven't so talked about because this is something. As, that, as Tech Pyramid. As Tech Pyramid, uh, ah. mountains, mountains of Tibet and an abandoned Morris monastery. Yep, those three. Any who anymore? says we all went to the same place? Well, we jumped, we jumped together. We did jump together. We yeah, I gave the option. There are no rules. Yeah. But yeah. Otherwise, yeah. that was the ultimate split the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One-on-ones for the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, one-on-one yeah. on one Cthulhu games. But the thing is, we could do Mountains yep. of Tibet okay. and, and so, as all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Do you want to do... Shall we... I like the idea of setting an Arctic Cthulhu, Arctic Cthulhu and maybe having a time there because that, that one, that, that one yep. I, I think would be rules? really fun. No, but we'll get it. We'll have to get, we'll get it. The rules oh, man, that's expensive to be buying rule sets to have games. That's yeah. okay <laughs> because it should be. I've done it before. Um, so we will set the next adventure going in forward into that. So whoever's jamming, could be anyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but we'll move into that time oh, period. Bethlehem, 1 AD. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe this will start to crop up and we do a bit of time travel. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, thank yeah, you so yeah. much for tuning thank in you. with us. We've just um, turned I think it we've into hit sliders. A, a time where Derek needs to take off. Is that oh, right, Derek? Sorry, yes. Yeah, so I so have to wrap it up. What no, we might do is right. maybe we won't do questions. Or, maybe, or do you want to chat? Do you want to do question time? Derek will run off or... He has to take the computer. The desk. Oh, you should take the computer. So, unfortunately, we are can't do question time. time. The desk are yeah, watching the Brockens die yeah. and get yeah, the codes. Do <laughs> <laughs> we'll, so, do a, we'll do a few questions because I can drive Derek home. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, got, so, if you have any questions you want to ask, questions, quick, quick, quick. Um, feel free. But thank you so much for thank you. awesome chat. Yeah, you yeah. guys have so good ideas. Yeah. I loved being your chatter. Uh-huh. Wicked. <laughs> <laughs> So, wow. questions is the time now. I know that there'll be a bit of a questions delay. Questions is the time now. Good no. Good no. Good no. Did you guys Good. like 7th edition? Good. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah I didn't really get to show off 7th edition. Oh, no, really we did. We did. Early, I think one was... of the first things we did was, was use the um, difficult. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. The half. Yeah, we didn't do a combat scene, which adds a little bit of a difference in it, which is a really fun combat system in there now. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm keen to... So you bought the rules on drive through RPG? I did. I bought the PDFs because I knew Mario's bringing the hard copy, but I'll probably yep. get myself a hard copy now that I know how beautiful they are. And, yeah. and I really enjoy the system. I I'm enjoy gonna, some yeah, of them, so cool. I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm going to get the... It's great that they've moved everything to D100 now, yeah, including the stats. It's much less clunky. Um, yeah. Here we go. What was the very first character we ever made? Starting um, with you. Um, oh, I can't remember. I've got it still, but it was uh, written on one of those printed, you know, the ones with little dots at the end that you tear off the, yeah, you know, yeah. like the old printer paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and it was, it was a red box D and D character, and he died. And he took, a, he went onto a bed and fell asleep. And my brother's hero character saved him and took him away. And um, I lasted about twenty minutes in that adventure because right. <laughs> the game right. was brutal back then. It was so much fun, but I got hooked. Yeah. Okay, Murray, first character. Um, I think it was a, it was a yeah, red box dwarf back in nineteen eighty three, uh, was the first character. Mm. Yes, yeah. human thief for uh, red box. Yeah. Um, not red box, but red, the the basic set is yeah, what we're talking it about. It was red box, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. That's I'm what sorry. I I did. On. I didn't. I didn't... I've still got the original upstairs of the red box that, yeah, I, yeah. that I played my first game on. Wow. Did they tell me what happened to Oliver? Yeah. Do you know what happened with Oliver? I've got. I, I heard that there was there was a big call to kill Oliver. You got hit in the balls too many times, oh. and that's why you're out of the adventure. Well, I well, not Oliver, no, 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 no. Sandar, Sandar got hit in the nuts twice. Yeah, so um, but Oliver's changed. Yeah, I heard that he he's got grown up. His head, his head got shattered. And so then, his glass. He's got a new one, doesn't he? Yeah, so he, he had the mud got shattered, and then the glass stuck into his head, and he magically got frozen. So now he has this frozen. I'm glad I didn't. With blood okay. and like. And yeah, you can tweak his personality now. Yeah, much easier. Right, I'm yeah. glad I didn't um, super glue the, uh, the 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 beer mug on his head. Oh, yeah, it's probably a <laughs> what did um uh while you were playing the chat figured out that some of what's that? That some yeah. or even many of us got hooked onto the dice stormers by Beyond the Rim. Oh, I remember yeah. John's cool intro. Oh, did you yeah, guys yeah, like yeah. those intros? Oh man, that was me before I yeah. had a green screen. Yeah, yeah, if, I'm a lot better at it now. If, <laughs> if, you, if you guys like that kind of stuff, like the little fun stuff on the side, if so, um, make sure you just let us know on Twitter. Um, I Facebook. do plan on doing Age of Rebellion. I just need to order a, a copy. Um, but that is definitely on the cards. Age of Rebellion is something I really want to play. Um, recommendation. Not Age of Rebellion. So Force of Destiny. Sorry, not Age of Rebellion. 
much. Yeah, much uh, good. Any recommendations? If you uh, any recommendations you have for starting game master? Okay, so um, I want to um, plug a, a thing we've got coming up. There's a gaming group here in Sydney that have asked uh, the Dice Stormers to record and put up on YouTube a uh, a, a GM's um, masterclass. So they've approached oh, us. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, yeah, tell us more, great. Derek. Secret. I, I mentioned this uh, a, a couple of months back, and they just contacted Derek, me and, and said um, that they, they're very keen to do it, and, and they've been to sort of one planning, and we're going to see where we're going to shoot this. But they're going to sell oh, tickets. Remember, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're going to sell tickets, and they're going to... Um, to fly from... Well, no, stream it. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. no, we're not going to stream it, but we'll, we'll record it and put it up. So that yeah. will contain heaps of uh, good tips on uh, how to... DM and GM and all that sort of stuff. So. We also have a whole heap of ones, um, like how to GM. Oh, we were we were recorded a long a lot. Mm. I don't think we did basics. So I think we were doing more. The, the best one is is if you're going to start, I would suggest doing something like either something very very simple, like a very simple kind of rule set, like Paranoia or something like that, or D and D because there's so many guides out there for D and D that. Yep. I think, yeah, yeah. And, and start, fifth edition is very, very friendly yeah. to new players. I, I would always recommend Maelstrom, but no one here would agree with me. No. no. <laughs> but it's a single Yeah, if you, if you want to turn yourself off gaming... Oh, go out. Then... <laughs> um, yeah, well, look, uh, Forger, that would be amazing if you made some replicas from our campaigns. I think we would we would love that. Replicas that would be amazing. Of... Of our, from, from ideas from our campaigns. Yeah. We, would, we would love to make them into reality. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would love to have a resource where you guys can post adventures and other people can play your adventures, mm, which would be really mm. fun. But um, that's one of those down the track things, which cool. would be really cool. John, I have a personal question. Oh, Ooh. if you allow, oh. concerning all of your spontaneous creativity, what do you do as a job? Well, oh, um, I'm a tax accountant. No. <laughs> 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 professional stamp collector no i um i am a drama teacher and film teacher so i teach um i teach basic film stuff and i and i've been teaching drama for i don't know a long time he eats creativity for breakfast yep. yeah so that's my job there you go that's why um lawyer of the stars <laughs> i like tax accountant <laughs> tax, tax accountant to the star <laughs> Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's fantastic. All, right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys. It has thank been you. an absolute pleasure to oh, have wait, you on. Wait, Sorry you missed us, Sonora. One more thing we, we should probably plug. Um, a magazine called The Campaigner. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Sent us a whole bunch of questions, and we, we all got together and sat around a round table and answered them and put those questions onto our YouTube. It was a so rectangular table. It was a rectangular table. Yeah. And they, those questions, that video that was, was going out shortly. <laughs> And, um, and yeah, you can find out all about our jobs, including what John does. <gasps> Spoiler alert. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, I, I should have said that earlier. Spoiler <laughs> yeah. alert. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're officially going to end it. See you guys. Thanks so much Thank for watching. Thank you so much. Thank God that's over. Oh, okay.